Okay, hold that thought, you guys. We, we, we well, failed to come up with a name that uh, will be a pronunciation challenge for Susan. Oh, thanks. I love you too, Leonard. No, we we didn't do it. Oh, we didn't do that. We, we just did, did one that will make you blush every time you it's say just, it. You're going to well, make me blush? It's, 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 so it's Janine might be mispronouncing the word. It's too mildly there. humorous. It stinks. <laughs> I have seen everything, you guys. It's, our name stinks. You're not going to shock me. <laughs> My goodness. Recording it's not in progress. the word Washington. Well, we're coming back to the. Oh, uh, well, the we don't know that yet. Well, our team name does not contain the word. Where's Caspian? Susan. Susan. Mom, you don't know? How's Hamilton? He's not around. Remember the old um, commercial? It's 10 o'clock. Hamilton, Isabella wants to see you. Well, I had the cheese stick. I'm surprised you didn't come running in here. I forgot he likes cheese sticks. Open the can opener. Oh, we don't. They don't know what that is because we don't have oh, to do that. Different kind of cat. Different era, I guess. No, that's a different era. Susan, have you ever had a actually? Has anybody here had hypoallergenic cats? Hypoallergenic is that like homeopathic cats? No, the it's ball. like palace. Are those palace like the cat. ones that don't have any hair at all? Yeah, they're like the Mars cats. Ugly. No, oh, they're, they're the ones that like so. My you know, roommate keep diluting the cat in water, and eventually you go. <laughs> I hear my roommate wants to get a cat, and I won't get a cat unless it's hypoallergenics because I'm allergic to at a poodle. Pet have, have you have Hence you why ever we have a poodle? Huh? Called the poodle. Have you ever actually been in contact with a cat that didn't make you allergic? No. Because you know, they're hypoallergenic. Is 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 not a. A, a really well defined yeah. thing because like whenever i'm around like like let's say if i like when i was over at susan's i touched the cat and i touched my eyes and i was sneezing and coughing and it was yeah. horrible mm -hmm. but oh. like she's like i said i won't live with you if you get a cat because i'll be miserable all the time because i'm it, it just like it messes with my sinuses but okay. i was like do these cats actually exist because i keep hearing oh you can get a hypoallergenic cat and it doesn't have any hair and if, if you're here. if you're that allergic it's probably not going to work you know yeah. what yeah. Isabella, it's, you it's can allow a cat in the dorm anyway. room where are you going to no, put she the wants to box? get it for like next year when we move into a house because our friend group all wants to move into a house coach i'm fine with i just don't know if i can do, deal with a cat i wouldn't i looked at that idea for a giant hamster ball and you'll be yeah, yeah. And all cats produce that protein. There are yeah. just some that don't produce it in high quali quantities, but you may not be able to afford said cat. Exactly. Yeah. No, like the like thing to get a cat and, and the Cornish Rex. Yeah, there's no, also yeah. a there's also a relatively recent uh, cat food that reacts with said proteins in order to, uh, that you yeah, can buy, but like, that. but it, it, it only lowers the anything. reaction. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Like it's no, not, I'm like I don't really want to be taking totally like easy. Tylenol, not Tylenol, like oh, like Benadryl. medicine every day. Benadryl. You yeah, might Benadryl be, every day. Well, is I it just when the fur touches day. you? I have asthma. I if if I get day. it, so mm -hmm. sometimes it's not the it's mostly not the fur actually. It's the dander. It's the yeah, it's right, if it gets I'm, on my skin or if it gets in my eyes or my nose or my face, mm -hmm. I get I either break out in like hives or I'm just sneezing and coughing and my eyes are running. Because I was going to suggest that you find a cat that doesn't shed very much. Or get yeah. a stuffed that, not cat. Gonna help. No. Get a goldfish. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Don, it, Isabella, did you, break, did you break the news to Hamilton? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. I know that you're cheating on him. All right, so we're back. And we're back. And we're recording. For prosperity's sake and for when I have Alzheimer's. Or, or posterity, one of those two. Prosperity, whatever. Okay, so we're Prosperous in game, posterity. we are in game 80. Can you freaking believe it? Veterans Day, game 80. All right, so here we go. Mm -hmm. I want to get our, I want to get our names. So room number one, Bob, Peggy, Rob, Wilma. Who are you guys tonight? Put it in the chat. Who's typing it? I'll do it. I'm doing it remotely through my brain thing. So it is, is there a Nikolai in the Dom? Which is house in <laughs> Russia. Is, is there a Nikolai in the Dom? 
in the yep. house. All right, thank you very much. Is there a Nikolai in the house? Anybody here relate to the name Nikolai? <laughs> Lori, you know a Nikolai? No. Oh, my nephew. <laughs> I know a Nick. Does that count? Yeah, well, it does. Be. Of course it does. I think I went to time. high school with somebody named Nikolai. Mm -hmm. There you go. Saint, Saint Nick is going to come in a month or, or so. A month there and you go. I heard the name before. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, I know how to spell it. Okay, Avi, Jeff and Julie, Kelly and Kevin, who are you tonight? We're the era of Aaron R's error. Boy. Oh my God. Aaron, era Aaron. of Aaron R's error. What? Oh, Aaron R is that three times fast. football player. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, Aaron. By the way, is that supposed to say, is there Nikolai in the Dom? Or dorm. It's dom. dom. That's dom. that's the Russian equivalent in English of the word. Oh, oh okay. we're learning already. I'm scared. So, okay, Alan, Randy, Deborah, and Carl. Plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart. I love the ones that are kind of do oh, references. So when you look <laughs> back six months from now, you'll go, I know what's going on in the world during that time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. was, that, was, that, was that the president is not king and yeah. the plaintiff the president is not president? Are not kings yeah. and plaintiff is not president. <laughs> yeah, that was so <laughs> ben, Isabella, and James, and Mike. So did we decide on Thanksgiving space bats? Yes. Yes, we did. <laughs> so we need to go back to the room space to bats. <laughs> Thanksgiving so space the, bats. You're using up this wonderful name now when you should be saving it for Thanksgiving. This was this was my Halloween decorations. And oh. This is my now it's oh, changed space bats. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh -huh. You, you got to like point you, out the turkey you spent leg. A lot of effort on it. There's a turkey leg. Oh yeah, there? he did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he changed the painting and added a turkey leg. Do it again, Mike. I missed that. And, and a hat. Oh, wait, there's the here, oh, got wait, here's the Halloween version. And then here's the uh, Thanksgiving version. Excellent. Oh, pie. Oh, I got it. Pie and a pilgrim hat. And that's on your door? That's outside my building, yeah. In in uh, Brooklyn? In Brooklyn. And yeah. you're going to eat the bat? Don't eat the bat. He's going to make soup out of them. I can't wait to see how you're going to change it for Christmas. <laughs> your holiday space bats. <laughs> Okay, Brian, Kirby, Faith Romero, Janine, Leonard, and Lori. We are pooping habits in space. <laughs> pooping habits in space. Ooh, We're not having another poop category, are we? That's charming. 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 Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> Veterans Day, November 11th. Here we are. We are here live, 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 live. Game no. Ochenta. We are live, live, live with social, social trivia by Susan. And... We have tonight, we have the teams, the teams that think they're going to win, the thing they think they're going to go for the whole kitten caboodle and be the massive winner of the game. We have, is there a Nikolai in the dorm? The dorm. No, no, no. Versus no. era of Aaron R's error versus plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart versus Thanksgiving space bats versus pooping habits in space. Who will be the winner tonight? On our only game of AD, this is our only 80th game. So who will be at the end of this game? We will all look at each other and go, I had no idea. We've only we could have psychic powers and know how this is going to turn out. All right. Well, sure. Ready? Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so we've got Robert, who's going to lead us off tonight. Giving you the calm, Robert. You ready? I am ready. I am ready. Okay, so Kelly's going to handle the the. Kelly's Kelly's got the power. Kelly's okay, got so the power. I am going to say the category, and uh, nobody say anything about my backdrop because it might give something away to people who don't know, and your team might uh, be at a disadvantage for doing that. But I'm going to slightly change the image right now. Everyone, look at it. There we go. So that's the actual image with no editing. People might recognize oh, I see who that. that. Is. So, all right, mute everyone, please. It is the Church of Scientology. Yeah. <laughs> You're muted. Unmute, Rob. Thank you. That is the image of one of their all hands meetings uh, venue there. Take a gander at that. Okay. 
So all the questions will be about the Church of Scientology. Question number one. Name the best-selling book that kick-started the Church of Scientology, which I shall refer to many times here as the COS. It has had 83 million copies sold in the 40 years after publication due to aggressive marketing and mandatory bulk purchasing by all church members. Yes, they have to do that or they get in big time trouble. Number two. Scientology training, referred to as OT levels of the bridge, has the goal of removing a person's engrams, thus creating an OT. Among the abilities of an advanced OT is for one's consciousness to leave and operate apart from the body. What does the oft used expression in Scientology OT stand for? Okay, this is going to be partly an audio daily double. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So when the founder of the Church of Scientology died of a stroke in 1986, it was announced at the podium of a special church meeting several days after the fact. Because the church could not admit that he had died from a disease, something a perfect practitioner of Scientology should never have happened. The truth was bent just a bit. Here is the speech announcing his passing. At this level of OT, the body is nothing more than an impediment and encumbrance to any further gain as an OT. Thus, at 2,000 hours Friday, the 24th of January, AD 36, discarded the body he had used in this lifetime for 74 years. 10 months and 11 days. The body he had used to facilitate his existence in this messed universe had ceased to be useful and in fact had become an impediment to the work he now must do outside of its confines. We felt it was important as Scientologists that you were the first to become aware of this fact. This fact, I love that. So who was the founder of the Church of Scientology that's being referred to there? Question number four, the Scientologist who made the speech you just heard announcing the founder's ascension went on to seize control, total control of the church, a position he still holds today. He has been referred to as the Pope of Scientology and his wife Shelley has been unseen for 14 years. Who is this? Question number five, The OSA is a department of the Church of Scientology, which has been characterized as a non-state intelligence agency. It targets suppressive persons, in quotes, which are critics of the church, including outspoken apostates, by running character assassinations operations against them. What is the department's full name? Number six. The primary goal of the Church of Scientology is to blank the planet. Fill in the blank. No extra points for clever answers that are wrong. Question number seven. This is a fraternal religious order contain, uh, actually this is a quote from their own paperwork so we're clear. This is a fraternal religious order consisting of Scientologists who have pledged themselves to eternal service to Scientology and achieving the goals and purpose of the religion. Note that was eternal service, and they do mean that literally. All other Scientology organizations are controlled exclusively by members of this one group. Question number eight. Name the Florida town, which has a population of over 8% Scientologists and where the Church of Scientology has its quote unquote spiritual headquarters. Number nine, name the TV actress who has been a prominent critic since leaving the church 
and wrote Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology. She starred in the tell-all TV series, Scientology in the Aftermath, and is now one of the co-hosts, along with the former head of the aforementioned OSA, on the podcast, Scientology Fair Game. And final question. This is a multiple choice. The LDS church, the Mormons church, is worth over 100 billion with a B dollars, while the Church of Scientology is estimated to be worth what? 2 billion, 15, 55, or 120 billion. And that's it. Are there any questions? No. Nope. Easy, Rob. I think you made this too easy. Is, do people agree to that? Let's see. We'll see. I'm still not going to forecast everyone's going to get tens. I refuse to do that. <laughs> I know all it's ten. So choice, Rob. No. <laughs> and wait, whose team are you going on now? Yours. <laughs> Yeah, About time that I actually know something. I follow Scientology really closely. Well, well done, Rob. Only well took well eight played. games. <laughs> so you're saying follow it closely, and that there's four score people. and twenty. What, what do we do now? What do we do? Okay, so I'm going to send you to your rooms. You go and you discuss. Okay. Rob, make sure you go hop around, and especially into the room that Lori's in. So she kind okay. of is like, okay, okay. See you guys in a few minutes. <clears throat> Does know, but I'll, I'll be able to. I'll be able to watch this on the recording, so I'm not going to stay here. Yeah, don't hang. Yeah, this will this will be fun. This will be quick. Go away. Okay, I'll go away. Let's see. Let me go. Where Where's Lori? What room is she in? She's the fifth room. Fifth room. There we go. Good luck. Anybody want to try, or do you want me to just tell you all the answers? Not Dianetics. all of them. That would be boring. Okay, Dianetics. Yep. Operating Satan. Yep. L. Ron Hubbard. Yep. David Miscavige. Yep. Don't know. Office of Special Affairs. Okay. Special Eight. Affairs. Wait, wait. What is the question again? Is it five? Is that what we need to know? Is yeah, five OSA. What does OSA mean? Office of Special Affairs. <clears throat> uh, save the planet. Is that it? Uh, clear the planet. Clear. Ooh. Oh, clear is a big go word clear. for them. Huh? Yeah. You got to be clear. Seven is Sea Org. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Sea Org. Uh, I can't think of the name of the town. It's in Florida. It's called uh, Clear um, Fort Lauderdale. No. Uh, uh, Clearwater. Clearwater. I'm sorry. It's Clearwater. Yeah. Is it Clearwater? Yeah. It makes sense it's, that they would want to be in Clearwater. It's yeah, Clearwater. Is, I think it's Clearwater. I know is, it's Clearwater. It's a big nine city. Is, nine is Leah Ramini. Leah yeah. Ramini. R e m i n i. I think. And I don't know number 10. And 10 is probably closer to 2 billion. 2 billion? That's it? 2 billion? Well, it's, it's, it's not 55. It's not 120. It's, I would it's think it's closer much. to 3 or 4, but 15 seems way too much. There aren't very many. There's uh, only 20,000 Scientologists. So, Oh, yeah? Current wow. Scientologists. They just have a lot more. of. Yeah. So I think it's. This is the only one I don't have a exact I number. Do. On, but I think it's three or four, but uh -huh. it's too much. Mm. So how well, are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm exhausted. Yeah. That was so hard. <laughs> I actually didn't know an awful lot of like when you say the answers. Like oh yeah, right, Sea Org. Okay, I remember mm. that. I remember. Here comes Caspian. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in a room. Whose room am I gonna put him in? I remember the Sea Org stories, but I I didn't realize they ran everything. I thought yeah. that was some kind of place where they put the youngsters or something. Mm, well, they're supposed to be in charge. It was yeah. It's it's a crazy thing. It, some of the the thing that he quoted though, like it sounds almost like fundamental Christian it's the way they talk. It's crazy. I was just listening to the most recent podcast with Leah Remini and she had a Jehovah Witness on 
And they were sitting there talking about how common everything is, the terminology. They're like, oh, we do that, but we call it this. Mm-hmm. And they went back and forth about how similar it all is and how controlling they are. So um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if fundamental Christianity was the same kind of thing. It's very common and it's uh, really sad when you think about it. Did you see the episode of the aftermath when they had all the J- JWs on there and they had um, Lloyd Evans? He was kind of their main, he was like the contact and, and he put it all together. It was a long episode. It was like a double I, episode. I actually have never seen any of the aftermaths. I read the Tony Ortega is like a reporter who writes about it and he's been writing about Scientology forever. He puts out a blog. And every morning, that's one of my first things that comes into my newsfeed, my email. So before I get to bed, I read the whole thread and then I read the comments that people have. And so because I've been doing it for so long, every time there's going to be an aftermath on, he completely talks about it and tells you all this, you know, oh, here's the news. So I, I'm like, I don't want to watch the show. I already know what happened. Yeah. But he, yeah. he goes into great detail with it. This one is really good, but I follow um, uh, Lloyd Evans. Lloyd Evans is who again? Well, he was, he's an ex-Jehovah's Witness. I think he's got the leading uh, channel, YouTube channel for um, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. He's going to host um, uh, Atheist Experience, I think, on Sunday. Oh, okay. Is that uh, Matt Dillahunty's thing? Guy. He lives in, he's, a, he's British, but he lives in um, Croatia. Because his wife is one of those, I can't think. Slavic countries? Yeah, Slavic countries. Um, Because his wife, his wife's from there. So he moved there. He did a, he did this um, long video. It was called 10 Things That Jehovah's Witnesses Teach About uh, Dinosaurs. And he went to this really crappy dinosaur park in in, in his country, where he lives. And he would do his little thing in front of some crappy concrete dinosaur statue. And this little girl, she was could, you know, she was like three and had the lisp and everything. She would introduce each segment. It was it was hysterical. It was great. Can I ask Bob, were you a Jehovah Witness? Are, are you no, okay with no, saying? No. Oh, okay. No, I was a Baptist. Okay. Yeah, I said it's funny you you're talking about uh, psychics who talk to Bible characters. I go, I used to talk to a Bible character. <laughs> well, that was the way it is. Okay, so one team's already back. Let's let's go back. Oh, good yeah. job, guys. We kicked ass on this one. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job, guys. Awesome. <laughs> Somebody did. <laughs> one, um, one eye that's half blue and half brown and another brown eye. Hi, Jamie. Peggy, you and our team? Oh, no, yeah, I forgot. This is, we're back in the, uh, in the main room. <laughs> forgot where we were. Oh, Jamie and Jamie's cat. I'm in the wrong room. Hello. She can't see over the cat. Cat butt, cat butt in the picture. Cat butt, cat butt. There's a cat butt, cat, cat, cat. cat. Is that oh. a hypoallergenic cat? No. No. Is it a hyperallergenic cat? Probably. Isabella was talking about getting a hyperallergenic cat. Her hypo, hypo. That's why we were talking Her. about it. So she really wants to sneeze? <laughs> it's a hypoallergenic cat. <laughs> she says she's heard about these things. Her roommate wants to get one whenever they move. They want to get an apartment, like, you know, a place next year. And mm. she's, and we're like, no, no. She's very allergic. So it's, um, yeah, if you're very allergic, I, I think cats are just a no-no. Um, that depends on the allergy because I am allergic to cats. So am I. You're allergic to cats? Mildly, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, but if you're if you're very allergic, right? Unlike yeah, if you're very allergic, it doesn't work. It's not yeah. gonna uh, not Carl gonna just allergic. smears a cat on his face every so often. Yeah, I don't know I'm how allergic. you're allergic. So I'm allergic to both cats and dogs. Dog. Medication. Would that make well, you yeah. hyper? Is that hyperallergenic if you're really hyper? I'm, aller- I'm allergic to every environmental allergen they test for at a standard scratch test. <laughs> I've avoided would, those because I don't want to know. It would be hypersensitivity. 
Carl should mm -hmm. hyperallergenic right means that you generate yeah. lots of allergens. Well, I, I have to tell you that if you remember the Church of Scientology, all you need to do is, uh, you know, take take their treatments and you wouldn't have a problem with cats. They'll cure you of that. <laughs> of anything, you can, of anything. Don't worry, your allergies will just clear up. Uh, mm. uh, 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 all right, so was this as easy as, tell, uh, <clears throat> as Susan thought it was? And we shall find out. <clears throat> now. Question, question number one. Wait, we uh, gotta mute. Why do you have to mute? No, we don't. Mute the dog. Not for answers. Do oh, mute the dog. Cool for answers. Yeah. Um, do we need the full title, Rob? Nah, we'll give you right. Dianetics. And the full title yeah. is The Modern yeah. Science, Science of Mental, of mental health, 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 which has no science in it at all. So the true story behind that is he just made all the shit up, including all his, his, own, his own story about how he cured himself of things he actually never had. <clears throat> like partial blindness well i mean didn't he come right out and pretty much admit you know earlier saying that the best way to make money is to oh yeah that, i mean that's that was recorded to make a religion yes yep question number two. Oh, are you putting them in the chat i'll put them all in the chat when we're done okay i have a list question number two what is an ot it is an operating thing Thing. for time Question number three, who is the founder, who is an evil genius, if you've ever seen anything about him, and he really, really was, L.R.H. L. Ron Hubbard, who's in the picture in the upper right of my photo there. <clears throat> and the uh, evil person, maybe more evil than L. Ron Hubbard, uh, who took control and his wife has been missing for 14 years, um, is Mr. David Miscavige. Yeah, Shelly. Yep. Do we get a point if we just have the last name? Miss Cabbage? Yeah. Okay. We would have said Dave. <laughs> no, that's, what if you would have, like, if you would have said Nikolai? That one's right. Have written down. No, the, <laughs> the Dave is silent. So, question number five the famous uh, non state intelligence agency within Scientology. OSA is the Office of Special Affairs. Oh, good job, Mike. That's right. And yeah, good job, Isabel. Wow, that was a good guess. <laughs> ah. Number six, the blank of the planet is to clear the planet. Ah, clear. Oh. If, and, 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 if, if, if everyone has allergies. Yes, and that's a big word with them because actually, like they say, going clear, and that's what the bridge is to help you go clear. And they want to clear everyone on the planet, so clear the planet. So do they like have clear Pepsi as a doctor? <laughs> Don't know. Number seven, uh, this is the uh, fraternal religious order within Scientology that controls everything else. It is the Sea Org. All right. S-E-A. And the name of the Florida town, which has a population of Close to 10% Scientologists is Clearwater. Oh. Clear water. Get it? I and don't Florida. get it. It's a coincidence. Clear the planet. Yeah. Clear, Clear water. water, Florida. Yeah. Clear out your bank account. <laughs> that's that's absolutely true. Number yeah. nine is Leah Remini. I'd never and, heard of her before until she became a... Yeah. Oh, so I actually watched the show, King of Queens. So yeah. you did, I'd yeah. never heard of it. Mm. I was like, yeah. what's this? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like have any really thoughts about who she was at that time. But at that time, she was trying to convince everybody, including Kevin, what's his name, who was the star, you know, to convert because that's like that was her goal. Kevin uh, James. Yeah. Yes. Like, it, you know, they told her to do that. You're on the show. You have to convince everyone there to become a Scientologist. Um, must have been a pain in the ass. Uh, number I videotaped 10. her jumping on stage at a Billy Joel concert. <laughs> do, why? What'd you do? She danced oh, with Kevin James. He's got a thing for Billy Joel. It comes up in every conversation. She danced That's with right. Kevin James on stage. To oh, okay. Of course. As long as she wasn't trying to rope Billy Joel into joining the church. She would have. She could have. She probably did. Really. Probably did. Um, all right. And uh, the Mormon church is worth over $100 billion, which shocks wow. me, but that's amazing. Uh, so the Church of Scientology is, I always thought, because I hear about them, like basically bankrupting everyone who ever joins them, but they have so few people in it that it's not really a lot of money. It's $2 billion. Yes! Oh, all right. That's the amount of money. I mean, worked it out. Beautiful. 
I thought it was closer to three billion. But, but the, the scary thing is, they use all of that money uh, for the Office of Special Affairs to right. you know destroy people. Two billion is still a lot of they, money. They do nothing regarding what a normal church would do regarding you know helping people or anything. Yep. Oh, so okay. Rob, I was disappointed you didn't ask what popular musical is across the street in New York from uh, from the Lantelli's. <laughs> I didn't know about that. What, what what is it? Please say. It's. I'll give you a hint. It's a cat named after it. Hamilton. Hamilton, Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton is right across the street from the Manhattan Church of Scientology. Oh my! Wow. Hey, Isabella, you can go see Hamilton there and and, and get a free a free uh, personality, personality test. test. That's how they get you. They'll do free personality test. Okay, so sadly. <laughs> The first round, usually what we do is you want to go a little low on your score because that means the next person who joins the, the, the game goes into your team. So I don't know how that worked out with anybody's strategy, but let's see. Got a minus 10. So you, you're suggesting sandbagging? Yeah, you're supposed to do that in the so first round. Have you, have you ever done any statistical analysis to see how often the team that scores the lowest in the first round ever comes Ooh. back to you? Well, that would be no, interesting. But you I need the for... data skeptic to do yeah, that. Yeah, wait for Kyle to come on and do that. Kyle, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so the team that Rob was on, is there a Nikolai in the dome? Score. Yeah. Uh, the curse is broken. <laughs> so I want everybody to know that there is there had there was one category that I knew, and that is it in the world. I will never ever do that again. So that's it. But we have witnesses and we're recording this. Okay, era of Aaron R's error. Seven. Plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart. Ten. Ten. Thanksgiving space bats. Seven. Pooping habits in space. Ten. Can we get ten? Ten. Ten. Sorry, he needed. To 10, 7, 10, 7, 10. Sounds like a pattern. I pick up a pattern from there somewhere. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm um, taking away your powers and I'm giving them to Are you pacing the answers, Rob? Yeah. Okay, I will do that. So we'll take a break after this, uh, Lori, after this round. We usually go after the second round. Kevin, 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 Kevin. There you are. Yes. Thank you, sir. I don't know what to call my category, so I'm going to call it semi-random trivia. The anti-category. Semi-random right. trivia. Muting or everybody. is it? About Billy Joel? Three, no. two, one. Uh, Kevin, you're still muted. Kevin, Question you don't number have a category one. or don't have a category? One or the other. Question number one. What are the first 10 words that scroll across the screen at the start of Star Wars? Oh, Which Star Wars? Wars. <laughs> it's probably the same. The question sits as is. The start of Star Wars. Question number two. The following people were all born in the same month. What month? There's a list. I want to pronounce the names. Question number three. What car did Ralph Nader say was unsafe at any speed? Question number four. He didn't paste. No. What is a Diana something something? There's a multiple choice. It's a flower, what type? Number five, what celebrity, 24, I'm sorry, what 24 year old celebrity died on September 30th, 1955? And I got the location of the city. Uh oh. What happened? Okay. near Colome, California. I'm not sure how to say that. Number six, what was the first, what, I'm sorry, what book 
was first published in the United States in 1974, became a bestseller. The book won the 1975 Edgar Award for Best Fact Crime Book and was the basis for two television films released in 1976 and 2000. Having a hard time with chat. Are they getting in there? Yes. Okay, number seven. What sci-fi TV show debuted on September 15th, 1965, ended on March 6th, 1968, and had episodes in both black and white and color? Number eight, if you count the letters in the names of the weapons in the game Clue, which weapon has the most letters in it? Well, that's oddly, oddly. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Don't give any hints. You either know it or you don't. What do Catholics say when they bless themselves? This is number nine. And number 10, what do the above have in common? If nobody knows, then I'll give you a bonus question. So send me a chat message from your team, what you think they have in common. And if any team gets it right, they'll get it right and nobody else will, or at least anybody who gets it right gets it right. Maybe you'll all get it right. But if nobody gets it right, I'll give an additional clue for another point. And that's it. This looks challenging. It's number, it's number 10 in the chat. I'm not seeing it. Oh, okay. You, you could just put the bonus point in and it won't count if anyone oh, no, gets it no, right. No, no, no. No, because wanted to, he wants to do it because if it's it a more of a hint. Oh, okay. And I'll give you more time to solve it. Let me put that in there, number 10. I'll give you, I'll give you two more minutes. Okay, sounds good. This looks fun. Go to your rooms. Do you want to send us? Or you want me to do no. it? Did you say you went? Oh, I guess I guess that answered that. Damn it, where's Susan? Susan, I'm not in the right room. I got you, Rob. What room are you supposed to be in? I'm in room one. Okay. Throw them out. Adios. And I'm going to leave after I hear you guys make a couple of funny jokes. Ah, uh, Billy Joel. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yes, so, first words of crawl across. Somebody else, I'm sure, has this down. I don't need to write it down. Jeff, you muted. Da -da 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 Jeff, you're not muted anymore. So he says the first words that scroll across the screen, but a long time ago, far, far, far away. away. But that doesn't scroll. That just shows up. And mm. then the rest of it scrolls. Yeah, it's... I think you're overthinking it. Because it does scroll up. It doesn't, though. Doesn't that part fade and then the rest scrolls in? No, I think it scrolls up, doesn't it? It's been a long time since I've seen it. What does everybody else think? How could anybody expect to know the words that are left on the screen? Well, the a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, that's that doesn't before. actually appear. Yeah. So the thing is, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away is the first thing on screen, but it does not scroll. So it depends on what Kevin is expecting. There. Okay, I want. I'm going to tell everybody. I want the first thing on the screen, whether it scrolls okay. or not. Okay. Oh, okay. You should tell the other groups that too. I'm going to tell them. Okay. So then we got it. I got to send a message, right? I would go to the rooms to tell them personally because sometimes. Okay. The... Okay. But don't tell them anything more. No, no. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To... Perfect. Yeah, that's 10. Okay. So the second one is February. Okay. Cool. Got to be what? It's February. What month are they all born in? February. And which Darwin person? is born in February. Okay, I was gonna say, Darwin was the one I was trying to get. I was like, I know 
like I've recognized Darwin's birthday. I just can't remember what month February it was. February 12th, in. the Darwin's Day. What car uh, was the um, unsafe at any speed? Was the was it the Pinto? No. Oh. Um, was it the Nino or the Santa Maria? No, no. Uh -huh. It was. Um, I'll think of it. I, I know it. I, I'll, I'll. It'll come to me. Or okay. I'll we we can come back to it. I don't know what the next one is. Number four. Well, we can keep going because this would be pretty. Yeah, ask Mark hard. about three. Like. Let, let's keep going. Let's try to get through all of them since the last question is these things have something in common and maybe we can figure yeah. that out. We can fill in the blanks. Was um, number five, was that James Dean? No. Oh. But or did he die much later? I can't remember what era. I can't remember. I think you're right. But no, but he was in, he was in, a, he was in a color picture. So it wouldn't have been him. It was a Corvair. Corvair. Does that have any e on it? The James Doesn't Dean matter. Yeah, um, James Dean was, he was in Rebel Without a Cause. It was James so was, Dean. Okay. But wasn't he in Rebel Without a Cause? Yeah. But that was in color. Oh, wait, wait. It's, no, the guy who died. Yeah. Right. Number five is James Dean. There was color stuff by 55 because wasn't Wizard of Oz like in the 40s? Yeah. Wait, oh, what did that have true, to do right. with uh, color? Yeah. No, I was just thinking time color period. would have been after 55. Oh, so number six, yeah. isn't that Helter Skelter? Yeah. And number four. Um, well, we can come seven. back to number four. Like if we can figure out what the pattern is, then we might be yeah, able to you're fill right. in the blank. Okay, what TV show debuted? Oh, I'm trying to scroll the screen. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, is number right. seven, um, is that um, uh, a Star Trek original series? No. I think all the episodes of the original series are in color, right? Yeah, yeah. they're all in color. Sixty-five to sixty-eight. My first thought is like Twilight Zone because Kevin yeah. loves Twilight Zone, but I it's feel like this I've pattern. Been in that. Okay, so number eight, we're gonna have to think about this here a second. What are I the mean, it could be? Um, okay, so for for the clue one, the uh -huh. longest I have so far is candlestick. I can't think of any of them are okay, there's a rope, there is a yeah. wrench, lead pipe, revolver, revolver, knife. I think it's candlestick because there's only what six things no there should be more than that i think oh no maybe it is only six what's the other one i'm missing i don't know lead pipe no you got that um rope lead pipe revolver knife handle stick is still a oh we already got that rope pipe or three four five there's one we're missing yeah what's the last one what am i missing poison no it wouldn't be poison that was my first thought as all season, but no, that's not it. Um, I used to wrench all the time. Oh, the wrench. Yeah, the wrench. So okay. it's candlestick. So yeah, it's candlestick. Yeah, so it's candlestick. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Um, hmm. What do Catholics say when they bless themselves, the Father, Son, and the Holy In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Hmm. Okay, so... Poor James, this is the third time he's tried to get in. Do you have to let him into a breakout room after that? I just put him in his breakout room afterwards and, and the next thing I know he's out and trying to get back in again. Okay, what could these have in common? Halter Skelter? I'm not always so good at seeing this pattern. Somebody else will probably have to find it. Well, I just feel like like some are very long and some are very short answers. And You're pretty tired, aren't you, Kelly? <laughs> I'm thinking. I am tired too. 
that's another story. But I stayed up because I don't have work tomorrow and I've missed trivia like 8,000 times in the last month. 8,001. We've been counting. Good to know. I'm also a little sick. So, what could these possibly have in common? No idea. Wow, this is really. Um, the thing they have in common is that they're all answers to this trivia question. I don't trivia, think that's going to be it. Okay, so no. I don't see any pattern as far as the words. You know, like they don't all end in a certain letter or start with a certain letter. They don't spell anything. A, F, C, no. Um, see, Pelter Skelter is also the name of an album. It's also a, is it an America round or ride? No. Yeah. Oh, Candlestick was a park. Um, I don't know if no, Kevin realizes I we can't message him from another breakout room. I just well, I can leave and message him if I have yeah, to. Yeah, but I that's what he but everybody else can. Yeah. Mm. What Why might have to happen to is that um what might have to happen is if you can message. We can ask for help. And oh, wait. Kevin's Kevin. here. Hey, Kevin. So yes. uh, people can't private message you from their rooms. So you'll oh. probably have to go around and ask everybody. Okay, like, I can do that. Poll. Has anybody okay. got the solution yet? Uh, um, I No one's told me it yet. No. Okay. No so, one's messaging okay. me. So, so yeah, you'll, you'll probably have to go around and ask the different teams and just do that. Uh, do it that way. Okay. You Wait, guys got anything? Jeff, Jeff, weird question. That message pops up for me for Outlook all the time. What am I supposed to press? Deny or allow? This? Oh, never mind. It cannot That's be received? Not, never mind. This is I, basically my, my Outlook not being able to connect to VPN. Okay. So. No, I read the first, the beginning of it was like the server for this account and it mines us something different. Never mind. Okay, so okay. Candlestick is a park. It's a baseball park or was. I, but oh. in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is not a baseball park. <laughs> well, James Dean died young. Corvairs. Oh, so these well, are all disasters? Or well, oh, I, I, I know, think, I know, I know. But, Things that ended short, like ended before their time. James Dean, Candlestick. candlestick. Well, it was February is a short month. And February is short the shortest month. Corvairs are very small cars. What about a long time ago in a galaxy? Hey, I came forward? up with the rest of it. You figured it out. <laughs> well, I liked that album title idea. If that Alter Skelter. Something short or small or didn't live long. Hmm. Maybe the theme is short and small, short and long, long and short. Hmm. But then how is well, the word a long, long in the number one? I love listening to everybody think. Okay, so the first one has awesome. long is long. It's got the word long in it. The second one is the shortest month. Corvair is a short car that it 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 was canceled. He came out with this book and and on the unsafe at any speed and they got rid of it. James Dean died early. Mm -hmm. Candlestick was a baseball park that got bought out and built over. Uh for number D, for number four. Maybe it's Lily because of a shrink, shrinking Lily, like of the of that that um, of that phrase. Like somebody is a sh no. I'm thinking of shrinking Violet. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a shrinking Lily. Yeah. What could they possibly be? I can't see how Halter Skelter hits that, except they, they killed people, so it cut cut their lives short. Mm -hmm. Candlestick and Clue hit somebody over the head and ended their life short. Um, murder. Is it just murder? Do, do you have the theme? We're working on it. Okay. Um, do you want to give up and get a clue? Not yet. Because okay. if we get it, has anybody else got it? Well, I'm going to ask people. I don't want to say. I'm going to ask. Well, go people. ahead and ask people because no, I think we it, almost yeah, got go it. Yeah, go ask other people. Because I think yeah, we almost. I think got it's it. time to do around. And we'd like to have. Yeah. We would like to not give those other people a point. So it, could it be? Murder? It's not murder because James Dean didn't die in a murder. He was in a car accident. 
He was Did speedy. he murder someone else? Hmm. Just be could be um. I don't get number nine though. Okay. Okay. Wait. okay. The theory that it could be something that's short or ended too early before its time. Is there anything on number four that would fit that? Is there something that blooms very briefly? Tulips do, but that's not on the list. Um, I mean, sunflowers do. Sunflowers get really big and then disappear. It was a long time ago. I got it far, far away. Man, people, because in Helter Skelter, they, you know, Charlie Manson, they killed people before they had a chance to live their full life. Corvairs killed people, I guess. Yeah. They were unsafe. February short. My God. Um, yeah, what could these have in common? The other thought is that they have, they have something very different like maybe a person in common okay so helter skelter was charles manson and his people okay right and oh it also was uh the people killed was um polanski's uh wife sharon take wasn't it yeah the, you can't think of anything that has to do with that does it hmm. no the father the son of the holy spirit candlestick oh my gosh i feel so close to getting this and then i'm like james d died in a car could he have died in february and could Helter Skelter have happened in February? And mm. Star Wars came out in February? <laughs> I don't know. Could that be it? Or you got us, you got us good, Kevin. Anybody else come up with it? One person, one team did get the um the theme. Okay, so wow. the okay, so we're on the right track. Is my internet bad or is it what? Okay, how about Rose for number four? Because it's the shortest. Oh, I know. He said Candlestick was the longest. Didn't so I he? think it's short and long. So okay, long so short. long, short. Corvairs are short, I thought. Long, oh, so short, short, short things and long things. Like... All right, let's see. I think we're really unclear on four, so I hesitate to give it a designation, but we think that this is. I feel like I don't see it how. Be long. Could, yeah, I don't see how this could matter. Long and short. Also, we well, should try like, like, we definitely it would be it like with too. Jesus being um, Jesus being um, killed um, early. Yeah, I just that's I feel like long. that's a stretch and it's gonna be something more concrete than that. Number four, it's probably chrysanthemum if we're going for long or short. It's also the flower of Salinas. <laughs> hmm. Our town, it's our town flower because Steinbeck wrote about it. It was a wonderful short, short story that Steinbeck wrote called Chrysanthemum the Chrys the Chrysanthemum. Powerful story. When we get out to the room, I'll give you guys the 11th clue and you might go, oh, shoot, I know it now. But some other team already scored some points. So yeah. it wouldn't be fair. No, yeah, no absolutely. No, I mean, it's. Yeah, yeah. That, they'll go to everybody and they'll just say the next clue would have been Okay, this. so four, I think it's, I think it's. <coughs> <Chrysanthemum. coughs> when I want to say it's Chrysanthemum. Yeah. And what TV show debuted on. Three years, not even three years. Couldn't have been Twilight Zone. 
No, yeah, I that ran longer. Much longer run. Um, and it wasn't Star Trek because they were all in color. Yeah. And it wasn't Gilligan's Island, was it? Didn't that last longer? It's not a sci fi show. Oh, yeah, sci fi. Well, some people would say it is. It's got like coconuts that do all sorts of amazing things. Gilligan's Island is not sci fi. Give me a break. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's a real stretch. Okay, I mean, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, hold on. Could it be lost in space? That was short. Sure. Let's put that it down. Yeah, lost in space. Yeah, that's good. Could it be song titles or something? Helter Skelter. That was a song. Yeah, yeah. But uh, James along, Dean. Maybe... Is there a song called James Dean? Uh, Hillary Duff had a song called James Dean. Also, like for number one, it was like a long, long time ago. And oh, that was American before. Pie. Yeah, except it's the like the the what's his face version, um, the parody of it. Um, oh, Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, yeah. Weird Al. So, well, what would what would February do? Is there a song called February? Sure. Something Probably. to do like, with Billy Joel. Like everything is a song. How <laughs> so, about yeah. Corvair? Corvair. It would, it would have to be related songs. And yeah. Helter Skelter was by the Beatles. Does that mean anything? Lost in space and in time and in meaning. That was a line from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Hmm. I don't know what um, we got to do anything let's, For number 10, let's just put down song titles. And we can really? then ask is that correct nine i would like to sing like so close title. so close and yet so far yeah <laughs> you're not going to get it are you going to get it when i leave we're going to i want you to leave because i don't want you to hear us i'm going to give a minute well, you have to leave and that? then bring us back how do i do that i just you leave. Have to leave. Yeah, leave the room well, don't, don't try to bring us back before okay. you leave the room because otherwise we're right. not any time so how do i leave though um, if you go to leave, leave room, room at the bottom right corner. Thank you. Leave break. So what do you guys want to do? I don't think it's song titles. Maybe it's song lyrics. Maybe it's lyrics of a specific song, but I don't see how all these would fit together into a song. Well, Helter Skelter was used in the Wait, frame was in the Beatles. A generation. Oh, no. A long, long time ago, but it didn't have anything to do with the galaxy far, far away. Generation lost in space. There's that. Those are both in in the American Pie lyrics. Lost in space and a uh, long time ago. Could it be February and Corvair and James Dean. Mm -hmm. Just say it. Lyrics from American Pie. Okay. Maybe they're. <laughs> well, but, but I mean, maybe maybe it's Weird Al Yankovic songs. No. No. I I mean I don't think I don't so. Think it's, I don't think it's lyrics from American Pie because no. I can't. I don't think so don't either. Know. But I, don't I also don't know that we're going to come up with something better in 15 seconds. Yeah. Could we just do song? Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I mean, I'm sure it's specific. James Dean. Yeah. What have you seen? La, la, la. Beatles. Skelter, Skelter in it. Karen? Karen. Don't give, oh, Karen. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Don't, well, get, don't give the answers up right back. She would have known that one. For Karen sure. probably would have rocked. Yep. Um, <laughs> team, I, I made more connections as we were leaving, and I think we actually have a shot at that being right. Wow. Wow. You let us in on that, too. Yeah. I thought this was a fever dream of uh, there's no possible connection here. And then I heard, and he goes, oh, somebody got it. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes it possible for us. Yeah, I was That's laughing at one team because they were so <laughs> close and I don't think they got it. They were so, so close. I don't think they got it. We but got we'll see. They, it by they actually said something that was exactly right, but then they skipped over it. Uh, it's, it's always frustrating when you're listening to a team and they go, you can't tell them, you have it, just stop right there. We may have come said back it and that, then though. they we may said have come something back else. It. Oh, Kevin, stop rubbing it in. Uh, Abby, you're the one who said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we rubbing it in order. 
Huh? All right. You came back to it? Maybe. Kelly, I think you're right. I think we're right. You guys didn't change it right because that's what I think it was right. Okay, ready for the answers. Oh. Right. Wait, wait, no, I just want to double check, Kelly. Oh, we didn't change What do you think? What we wrote down? What, yep, right? yep, yep. Yeah. We got it. We're, we're, we're going for it. We'll see what happens. Okay. Answer, Answer number one. one. So you know everybody spells it right. Answer one, number one, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Answer number two is February. Answer number three is the Chevy Corvair. Chevy wait, wait, wait. Can we just Chevy Corvair? Corvair? Chevy Corvair. We can't yeah, use Corvair. No Corvair. Corvair, but it's not Corvair, yeah. but we know it's a Chevy. Oh, no, no. I'm not yes. saying you, okay, Corvair, Corvair is correct. correct, right? Corvair yeah. is correct. No, so it makes total sense. sense. But it's a we Chevy got. Corvair. Okay, You'll okay, need okay. a Chevy okay. later. Now okay. oh. Number four is Carnation. Yes. Ooh. Number five is James Dean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold Number on. Six can, I is can I text Skelter. my team yes. the message yes. from the. Uh... No. Number six is Helter, Kel Helter Skelter. Number seven is Lost in Space. Mm -hmm. Number eight is Candlestick. Yeah. Number nine, I'm not concerned about the wording exactly. If you put Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Father, Holy Spirit. In the name of, in the name of. In yeah, the name yeah, of the yeah. Father, the Son, yeah, the Holy Spirit. Or Amen. As you like, so, as I like to say, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost Amen. took the last train to the to coast. The, no, the day no, the music died. The music yes. Died. So the, people, it. It, the lyrics from American Pie. We got it. Or or parodies. Oh, oh my God! Really? Rob, we were talking about that song. What? Oh my gosh! That was pulled out a long, long time ago. February made me oh, shiver, no. drove my Chevy to the levee, a pink oh, carnation in a pickup truck. I don't remember that line. We missed the carnation. Uh, James Dean line. line is- uh, Helter Skelter, uh, I don't remember. In a coat he borrowed from James Helter Dean. Skelter in Helter Skelter, 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 a generation What's, lost in space. What's with the candlestick? Jack Flash sat on a candlestick. Oh. Yeah. Jack sat on a candlestick. What? The Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. They caught the last train. Oh. So it makes total my, sense. My first, my first suggestion good. for an answer for number nine was, this will be the day that I die. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't get the Corvair. We got Corvair is the right answer, but it didn't. Right, but you had to think Chevy Corvair. I didn't want to make it too easy. But the levy was dry. Yeah, and then good if, if I had a bonus question, you would have to. The question was going to be the theme is the following one mm. of the following a book, a song, a poem, or a movie, or a TV show. Mm. Name the writer of number 10. Oh. Spelling counts. The writer? Spelling counts. That, but no one gets know. that because I don't think I would have got the spelling it. right. Who's, who yeah. John, John McLean. John McLean. That was great. I don't know how to spell that though. Put the answers. So it, 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 is an adequate is an adequate answer because it's true to number ten. These are all English words. No. Corvair no. <laughs> <laughs> is not English. No, word. I do. Why not? I, I like Mike's answer better. All people who was Mike's answer. <laughs> what? Mike? What? These are all things I, I have not tattooed on my body. February, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, February tattooed. Things he does not have tattooed on his body. Yeah. Oh, does not. Yeah, right, right, Mike. Come on, let's see your body. All right, Wilma, are we kicking ourselves? I'm going to post no. the answers a few at a time so it doesn't overwhelm the thing. So it's too bad Karen's not here. She would have rocked that category. She, uh, she would. But, but we should have known in our team that it would have had something to do with music. We just should have gone there first. Still wouldn't have helped. I was close. I was this close. Maybe, anyway. Is that you and, and Don McLean? Yes, it is. Ha! Ah. Looks like what? Mike Nolte. And I've showed that picture here before, yes, too. You have. Have a picture of even you tonight. With Willis, so you can have a picture of you and John McLean. And even tonight, I was giving hints in the background. <laughs> I was giving hints in the back background. Yeah, I don't know if anybody noticed. No. I did this, followed uh, by. Doesn't help. What is that? A piece American of pie. Flag. American. Oh, okay. American, American flag. I did it what followed by a piece day? of pie. Right when I started, I came on and I was just giving hints, but I didn't want to say anything. And oh. then pie. Mm. And then I flashed on. American I'm, is hungry. I'm hungry. I'm <laughs> hungry. Cheesecake. The wrong okay. kind of pie. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's get some Cheesecake. scores. I really enjoyed it. I'm writing the answers down. Hold on a second. I really like that. that was oh, I am kicking myself. I, I liked it even <laughs> more that. because we got it right <laughs> at the last. And just, second. just for 
just for argument, I mean, just for fun, um, the song will be, it's 50 years old now. Mm-hmm. In January of next year, it'll be 50 years when it hit number one. Oh. I was eight, and it's still my favorite song. The words that do Yeah, man, that was, that was something song. I, I actually like Weird Al's version. Better. Yeah, of course you do. He told the whole story in the movie in the same cadence. It was amazing. I don't understand the words, though. I love Weird Al. He's great. I love Weird Al. He's my spirit animal. <laughs> he doesn't know it, though. Did you know that Weird Al, Weird Al is actually going to give the scores to us? Uh, he's hot. He's God. No, he's, he's God. God. Did you like him better than um take a picture so I can pee? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Is that from you or the chicken? Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, so, the teams that are in tied for last place, but that just for the moment. Era. Okay, so Thanksgiving space bats. Nine. All right. Era of Aaron R's error, which also was nine. like Kevin's team. Also nine. So they're still tied with 16. Pooping we have less habit, people on our team, though. Pooping habits in space. Ten. Oh. We missed the carnation is what we missed. Plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart. Ten. Oh, God, you guys. Is there a Nikolai in the dome? Nine. Whoa. Damn it. Okay, let's take a photo. Everybody get ready. Kelly, come back. James, are you there? James, James, Kelly, Kelly. Oh, wait a minute, don't take it yet. I always, hmm, this was, this was ca- causing triggering, but I always put the background up for the photo, so. Okay, where's James? James. Eek. James. Who's that? James. Oh, here comes Adrian, Adrian just turn to the picture. Let her get in. And. Well, that's not oh, Adrian, that's oh, Atheist Calvary. Eight. Adrian should come Adrian. to our team because we don't have a lot of people. We don't. And, and, and Avi, Avi, I will leaves. make a decision. Hi, Adrian. Avi Just usually leaves. So we'll have Hi, you Adrian. Hey, just Hi, call atheist me atheist. Calvary. <laughs> okay, everybody, yes. can somebody nudge Kelly or Isabella? Can you nudge James or Mike if you could tap James. The bottom James the needs to come. James is gone. James is going to lose James. Okay, James here we go. Videos off. Ready, everybody? Smile at the camera. Cheese. Wait, wait. Just let me change my name. There we go. Okay, ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, got it. Yeah. The, the names don't. The names right. don't come up. Do they in the picture? Do they? The names come okay. up in the picture, yeah. but they don't come up in, I, the, in the video recording. Yeah, Susan. Now that Avi's leaving, we only have three people on our team. Bye, Avi. Bye, Avi. Are you turning in? Bye, Avi. Bye, Avi. Hi, Dad, bye, you're Avi. Muted. I'm gonna have to go to. No. Is there one more round? Got my change thing. Call me. Give me a call. Oh. We, take a, we take a break though, right? We're Good. on break. You got a five minute break. Oh, and then we do one more round. We do two. Three, <laughs> three. three actually. Just three more leave us. Oh, you guys have only really done one round. Oh, no, two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> three and four, you should stay and then bonus. Barely be on a team that's. We're about half. We're we're just on. Never half getting half to bed. Break. You could quit after three if you want. I can go. Can I go just go for three and then sign out? Yes, of course. Okay. okay. Your team would be disappointed and, if you like. And you'll okay. you'll you'll just but crush my team our is team. Winning. Yeah, and you're Susan, at 10 10. There might be one person from book club coming using oh. the Facebook link. Okay. But I they would like there's some people coming from next week, probably from book club. So if you can I sent you a message. If you can put the link in so I can email the link because not all of them are great with Facebook. So you know the usual thing. Okay. Susan, did you put There's the somebody uh, named Vincent Stevens? Is that one of yours? Yeah, yeah, he's mine. <clears throat> did you show the scores? I didn't see it. No, I didn't show him. I will. And he show he him actually won back. a book at the Carl Sagan event recently on a trivia thing. So oh. <laughs> here we go. I've heard of Carl Sagan. I've heard of him. <laughs> I never met him. Yeah. So Carl let's Sagan. see. Hey, Vincent. Um, We've got Ben, Isabella, James, Mike. Okay. Oh. So they're at 16. Avi, Jeff, Julie, Kevin, and Kev, Kelly. But no Julie. So there's only three. And others. Avi's leaving. And Avi's gone. Julie's not there? No. He said she was there. And Avi's going to, has left. 
the building. Um, um, I am a, I am just a possible for the whole thing. I'm not sure. We'll, yeah, but you we'll see what I can just to keep my head up much longer. Somebody poke him. So that was okay, but your team you're on is in the lead. So and that team's in the lead. So Andrew, maybe I should do I should do them a favor and leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, so, Vincent. You can turn on your video. We won't scare you, I promise. Alan, why don't you leave and then come back in with a fake name and then join our team? He's in the jungle. <laughs> Put a mask well, on. That we're on break right now. That's why we're just. You could use one of those video filters that turns you into like a cat or something. Okay. You just put a mustache on like the like the Mets manager did if Bobby Valentine did a few years ago. She's trying to figure out what team to put us on, Vincent. Oh, okay. Susan, I'll be leaving as well. I hope I'm good for two rounds. I know, I know, but your team is winning, so I know that's a bummer. No, but that's that's okay. You can leave then. <laughs> so I hope for two things. One, I'm hoping to be paired with Paul. Adrian. Okay. And Second, I'm hoping that there'll be Canadian questions. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. We did, we just, the first category we did was Scientology. And the second category we did was miscellaneous or maybe not. And it turns out it had a really good answer. And I don't want to say in case you guys want to watch the video of this later, but, it, okay. so, but they weren't Canadian. Uh, James has been trying to play for so long and he keeps coming in and out. Has James shown up in your team? Thanksgiving space bats? Thanksgiving space bats? <laughs> I keep putting him in your team and he keeps coming back. So James, Susan, I, there? I have a question for you too uh, regarding the link you sent. It has a passcode. Is that right? Yeah, that's when it came up. When I say, yeah. signed in, I didn't use, have to use a passcode. But Did you clicked on the link. The link is hey, Caspi's giving massages. The passcode is included in the link. Okay. Where? Wait, you didn't post that publicly? Because I could use it too. Yeah, I put it public. Oh it's no, I didn't the, put it public. Here it's it is. It's in the Facebook event. Here it is. Yeah, you it just says it. join link. It just says I join event. There, but this would be better than I don't have to log in. There you go. It's Thank in the you. chat. Vincent, nice to see you. Tell us who you are. You're in Canada. <laughs> that, old, that old joke yeah just don't i know you've apologize. never heard that before huh you've never heard that before i've never oh well uh no he, he heard never. a boot three years ago a boot oh are you in are you in calgary with with adrian over there i am yes i know adrian very well uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what, what uh -oh. were you guys doing for your book club uh, Canticle for Leibowitz. What? <laughs> wonderful <Yeah>. book. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful book. It was a yeah. very interesting book to say. Wait, wait, yeah, what is the book again? again? Canticle for Leibowitz. I love that book. Oh, sounds like a team it? name. I know I've read it twice. Oh, what? I gave that name. book to my my son a couple of years ago. I don't know what he how he mm. liked it. Right, it's that great. Is, Write it in the chat so I could actually know what to look up. I, I have can't no idea what spell you said. I can't spell it. I thought spell it because she said Annie Leibowitz. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got the last name right. She's a photographer. Yes, mm. she is. A very good. But photographer. what would that have to do with? It's a, is it a book? Is it a book on atheists? I think that's Canticle. It's a it's a science fiction book actually. Science yeah. fiction. Yeah. Yeah. Written in 1959. Dianetics. Dian. <laughs> I think I don't know if that's how you spell that's canticle because you know me and spelling, science fiction book, but too. it's something like that. Your spelling is better than mine. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. It's a spell check here's, for. Here's the title. Thank you. Canticle for Leibowitz. Canticle. Yeah. What does a canticle? Canticle read the is. Read the book. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. Canticle is like a a, a title. Yeah, I thought it was like a, isn't it sort of like a, 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 a religious song yes. or something? Yeah, a like liturgical thing. Yeah. 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 Well, Susan. Yeah. What are the scores? I will I will do it whenever I get back. <laughs> Carl My OCD Scott is objecting. Is they always see it immediately after you hear all the scores. He's scary. He's got a scary thing. He's next up. Are we back? Is it five minutes? Candle for a canticle for Leibowitz. 
All right, thank you for an enjoyable. Very good book. Bye, Brian. Good night, Bye, Brian. Brian. See you next Bye, Brian. time. Bye, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Have I think fun. I'll just read the Wikipedia page. Spoil it, so I don't have to read it. It's quite a long uh, and pretty good Wikipedia page, actually. I was looking at it today. I always like to think of them as canicles, not canticles. Here mm -hmm. comes another one. Positive attitude. <sighs> uh oh, there's another one from Calgary. Woohoo! Oh. Larry. Oh, Larry. Oh, yeah. Hey, Larry. <laughs> Hello, Larry. At least We're Larry getting a whole book club over here today. <laughs> yeah. I, hope the, I hope the category, the nice category, isn't a canticle for Leibowitz. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's Leibowitz's. <laughs> yeah, We're hoping it is. <laughs> Susan, do your Canadian impression again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. You guys know how they named Canada? <laughs> <laughs> you know how they named Canada? How? Playing Scrabble. Just picking out the oh, letters. Yes. C A. <laughs> N A. <laughs> I've heard that, and I've forgotten about that. That's good. And they're and you notice they're not laughing. That was they're good. Not, they're, not, they're laughing. They're laughing inside. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it was a, I actually haven't heard yeah. that one. Oh, it was you've got a the book. This oh, is a 19. Oh, you got to live with it. It's that good. It, it, it was written in 50, it was published in 59. This is a 1961 printing of it. Oh. Wow. That's I don't know. It's in the pages, it's coming apart. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to read, I do, I'm gonna read I it again this. sometime. I really like it. It's, it's free online. You can download it. Okay. So, so I got a copy. Larry and and Vincent, have you been told what to expect? Uh, yeah, bit. Adrian has explained a little bit. Yeah. Okay, L Adrian, you you explained that it goes on for a long time. No, yes. no, no, just how it works and all that. <laughs> no, no. I don't. Want I did put them all three on one team. That wouldn't be fair. No, that's the teams because we're really close. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Well, I did explain that you go away and discuss it with your team, and then come back and. Right. Yeah. Vincent I did explain and that. Larry, have you used breakout rooms on Zoom before? Yes. Yes, we have. Okay. Well, then you're all right. That's that's pretty much the only rule there is. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So let me show you the scores. Because I didn't do it a minute ago. Not yet. Ten. Okay. Here we go. So we've got. Is there a Nikolai in the Dome with a 19 and Era of Aaron's R's Errors at 16? <laughs> Plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart at 20. <laughs> Thanks yeah. space bats at 16 and pooping habits in space with 20. So <laughs> pooping habits in space and plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart is not getting a new player. So this team right here has lost Avi. And this team has lost, James can't seem to keep his account here. It keeps popping off. So, and this team is at 19. They have Wilma, Rob, Alan, no, you're staying. Okay, got it. So we got to divide them up amongst these. So how, so, sh how should I do this? So we lost, we lost Brian. Yeah, so it's Isabella, James, and Mike. So I've got three on this team and three on this team. So let's put roll let's, the dice. Let's put Two Vincent on one. Take I Vincent know. because that's the name of a Don McLean song. <laughs> yeah, I agree. How about I do this? I'll put I'll put um let's think about how I'm gonna do this in a second. Um I think the fair thing to do would be put Vincent and Larry together since they're both new. And then let's put Adrian over here. Unless somebody joins in the next couple seconds. And if another Larry and Daryl come in, we get them too. <laughs> Daryl, Daryl. Okay. I think as fair as it's gonna be. We have three. We have three. You have so one, have two, four. three. Have you have four, four, and then you have three, but the two four ones are the ones that are. Uh, the two new ones are brand new, which means you'll probably kick ass, but unless somebody joins in the next couple seconds. Okay, here we go. 
Carl's coming up with the next category and the theme is okay so so Larry and Vincent you might want to have a pencil and paper or a pen or whatever don't say anything don't say anything out loud just make note of it Carl's going to put all the questions in the chat is it just written Carl or is it visual or anything I should just written. okay so all the questions will be in the chat make sure you can see your chat and then you'll be sent to your room so you can meet your new teammates and discuss the answers and I record. In fact, the next room I'm going to is plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart. So, okay. Carl, you're up. Give us the name yep. and tell her you're up. Okay, well, uh, I was originally going to create a new category for this week, but uh, didn't have time. So what we get instead is scary movies by bad description part two. Oh, that was fun last time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love this category. One. Muted. So explain for the new people because we got three brand new people. All right. So I will read uh, bad descriptions of a scary movie, and you have to figure out what the actual movie is from the bad description. Yeah. Just don't say anything out loud. And don't paste any answers in the chat. Number one Betty White has more cows than she wants, so she adopts a stray animal that the rest of the surviving cast ends up killing. Oh, Betty White. Number two. Reclusive old man with dietary restrictions hires solicitor to help him buy a house in London. Hijinks ensue. Three. Man gets jealous of a co-worker's business card, then listens to some Huey Lewis in the news and returns some videotapes. Number four, a plane crashes, but then it doesn't. So people start dying. Number five, a pregnant woman moves into a new apartment, gets to know her friendly neighbors and gets a cute new haircut. Baby has its father's eyes. Number six, Old dude shows his balls to young people at a mortuary. Only guy who can fight him is the ice cream man. What? Number seven. Cancer patient finds a new take on life, creating games to help others see the world in a better way. Number eight. A determined young man seeks to reunite with his long lost sister while cosplaying Captain Kirk. Number nine. A very generous clown shows seven kids the meaning of friendship. And number 10. Two hillbillies try to remodel their cabin while a bunch of teenagers keep committing suicide on their property. Yes. And there we go. Karen just showed up. Awesome. Carl, I can't wait to see these movies. They look hilarious. Okay, let's see. I've got to put Karen somewhere. How about I put her with... Um, We'll take her. <laughs> You're at 20. We'll take her. You're at 20. No, we're we'll not. Take her. We're not at 20. We didn't get two tens. How could we be at 20? Oh, you could take her. You're at 19. Let's do that. Oh, I don't feel that's fair. We'll Look, I don't her. believe there's any movie where Betty White is going to have more cows than she wants. <laughs> I'm going to put Karen over here. With the two new people, that'll be fine. <clears throat> or should I put her over with? No, you guys, Bob. With two new okay. people, that's awesome. Yeah, with the two new people. Yeah, Karen, hello. <laughs> Wait, so one one team got three new people at one shot. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're at sixteen. So fair. I still think it's fair. Yep. 
We got this, Rob. Hey, there's there's two of us. That's there because 16. they're at do we, get, do we get people too? I'm glad you're we're know at 16 these, because of Susan. I don't. That's the funny part. I, I know, know nothing. Hi, <laughs> yeah, Karen. Karen's on vacation in Mexico. I never watched scary movies. Karen's, Karen's in Mexico, so she's not going to. So there you go. Okay. So so all the new people just follow along. You'll have just you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, Carl, are you going to break them out or am I going to do it? I will break them out. Okay, go for it. And I'll put them on their teams. Okay. So James is having a heck of time. I'm here, but barely. Yeah, you've been, I've, been, I've put you on your team like four times. Yeah. So you're in plaintiff room three. You're in good hands there, Vincent and Larry with- uh, Yeah, you'll Kelly. be fine. Yeah. Well, so you're good, going good, into good, room very two. Tiny. Larry's going in room two. Oh, where Karen's did Larry go? Going in room Larry. two. And Adrian's going in room four. Awesome. Okay, and I'm going Bye. in room three. Bye, guys. Go. As more cats than she wants, the dumpster stray animal that enters the cat sends itself. I know none of these. <laughs> I agree with you about five. That's got to be Rosemary's baby. Yeah, I think with the haircut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that does make sense. Haircut, but... Oh, yeah. The, that is um, Bob, t Bob, Bob, Chet. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't even think I saw the movie. I read the book on an airplane flying back from Cleveland when I was 18. So do we get, do we get Betty White? No, I didn't. It seems see so familiar. If my husband was down here, he'd probably know every single one of these. Number three is American Psycho. Okay. Okay. So for number one, it's going to have to be an animal horror movie because it rarely do, do people focus on killing an animal in a horror movie. It doesn't have to be necessarily. The surviving about... cast ends up killing. So Betty White's going to be dead first. Because she says the surviving cast. That doesn't mean she's among them or not. That's it, right. Subject matter doesn't agree. She was famous really early. So this has got to be yeah. an old movie. It doesn't have to be. Remember, this This is a bad description. Right. Remember, we would know about her being in a horror flick. I just remember seeing like a preview of a movie with Betty White and cows for some reason. Could it have been a cartoon? No, no. But my husband watches a lot of horror movies. Can I get it down and help me? Thanks. She's just yelling at the background of a... Of a... <laughs> yeah. It's like my son came down. I was making popcorn for everybody. Okay, and he came down to get his, and so I told him to get my husband because he's a horror movie buff. Okay, there you go. Okay, reclusive um, old man. Does anybody know that one? Do I? Two. Is it American Werewolf in London? Has it has London in it? I don't know. I'm just totally guessing. I mean, dietary. Well, it has London and a lawyer. <laughs> I like that. I like that uh, the okay. reason there. So on Ford, wasn't there a movie where was that Final Destination? Final Destination? Yeah. Oh, I think that's not what I thought of. I thought Final Destination too. I like this. Gets a cute new haircut. Yeah, the baby has his father's eyes. Movie. Okay, the number six old Can you read? old guy old dude shows his balls to young people in a mortuary. <laughs> what is that? Would be called a pervert. Are we back to canticles again? Words, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> These are bad descriptions of horror movies, basically. Old guy. Hello, Brandy's husband, who's fading in and out in the background like a scary ghost. <laughs> <laughs> we can see his glasses. That's about it. They're, James they're, is here. <laughs> graphics don't seem to like oh, it. Like she okay, stood Corey up and walked to the back, and she and her graphics were great. Corey okay, saying Lake Placid for number one. Never What's Lake Placid? Placid? I've never heard of it. Oh, <laughs> I have heard of it. Is okay. Betty White in it? I don't know. I don't watch horror movies really. There are cows. I mean, it's by a lake. I can see there being cows. Oh, okay. okay what else? Sea cows. <laughs> And I thought number two might be American Werewolf in London, but I don't really know. Well, I mean, vampires or well, werewolves are probably reclusive. 
dietary restrictions. Yes. It's, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Are we sure number two isn't Dracula? Yes, yeah, Dracula. Oh, and who who yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. horrible. And then number three, we got American Psycho. Number four, we got by, uh, House of... Oh my God, that's and awful. Five, we got Rosemary's Baby. So wait, 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 wait. Up. Wait, so do we think number two is Dracula? Yeah, it is. I yeah. Think it's definitely uh, Dracula. Yeah, once he said the... Once we got the dietary restrictions, that makes sense. Well, that yeah. could have been anything from cannibal to blood to... So number six. Anything. Okay, number six. Seven is Saw, isn't it? I didn't. What is it? Seven. Well, is that's that the can. Isn't that the can? The Saw. Yeah. Number seven. Yeah. Saws. <laughs> like S A W S. S A W. Just Saw. S A W. Oh, okay. Old dude shows his balls to. Phantasm is number six. Phantasm. Phantasm. God, I've never heard of it. I've never ever heard of it either. Why? But it makes sense. And then we got seven to number eight. Kirk. Number Nine, eight obviously. is Halloween. Halloween. Eight is Halloween. Is he okay. cosplay as Captain? Yeah, Halloween. that's Halloween. Ninety percent sure it's Halloween. And is number nine is, it? I mean, nine is it. Yeah, nine is yes. it. I didn't see it, but I know that there's then a clown. You're gonna know that. One. How come he's generous? I know you're what's, gonna. What's know generous that. about the clown? Um, Carl's funny. Number ten is either well, that's good. Uh, it's in the cabin, so that's not going to be the hills or eyes. That's going to be um, wrong turn. Wrong turn. Why oh, they keep committing suicide on the property? They keep committing suicide. <laughs> Is that the one we watched the, that not too long ago? Oh, I'm trying to remember. What's four? Final, Final destination. destination. Final destination. Okay. Did we get them all? Let me know if that needs more. What do we get for seven? I think so. Saw. Things are neat. I don't know. Any. I'll take challenges on eight, but I think it's Halloween. No, you're they're right. You're spot on. Because it's the the that's a huge horror trivia. Is what's the mask that he wears? Oh, that's, it's Captain. That's Kirk Captain mask. Kirk. Oh. Oh. Wow, mm. thank you for joining our team temporarily. <laughs> Appreciate it. I had to go ask Mark about the Corvair, of what car it was. I knew I knew it, but I couldn't remember the name of it. And so he remembered it, but we didn't get the Chevy. So that's okay. But it, that would have that would have helped. Did you get the it uh, would have helped because I couldn't figure out how Corvair fit in the song right. the American mm -hmm. Pie song, but everything else did. So very good. Good job, team. We got what is good good job, there. Brandy's husband. <laughs> but I want to know, I want to know what Lysos is. Is it Lysos? Lusos? Las Vegas oh. Society of Skeptics. Oh, oh geez, I forgot. I, I was reading behind. I have to look behind your head there. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck he was talking about. I, talking about another I know. Lysol? Lysol? <laughs> what? Like, Alan, you're in America. You should know these things. Lysol is not spelled. You're Lysol. not doing a very good job of cleaning up this popcorn mess I made. I love popcorn. <laughs> Ninja, you my dog loves it when I make oh, really? popcorn. Ninja, over there. Come on, get it. I can't see the last thing. I'm, I'm going to. People are doing all right. I just kind of threw <laughs> through the wolves. Can you not get it on there with Okay, Avi, he's gone. So it's Jeff, Kelly, and Kevin. Do oh, I put Karen in there at the last minute. They'll be all right. It's just popcorn. I know. So you guys are at 20. We're going to be at 30. Yeah, you're going to get another 10. <laughs> good to start off strong. Start off. You guys are doing really good. Good. Yeah, if you don't want to stay for the watching reveal. Watch then... watch Baltimore lose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. What round is this? Is this three or four? Three. Scientology was so simple, it went so fast. We just ended up sitting and talking for a while. It's okay. I wouldn't mind finishing early. Okay. Okay.
well, we got to get back. So I, I'll leave the room and I'll call him back. Well, nobody else has. Let me see. We can all leave the room, can we? Where's um? I'll I'll bring Carl. Can I? No, I can't message him. We'll see. This is always the fun category, though. Get it, Ninja. Are you tired of the popcorn? Did you have too much? You don't want any more? Okay, I'm going to go back and then see about bringing me back. Hold on. Good job, everybody. Recording in progress. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, Isabel's back. I bet you knew all these. You're on mute. So we went to, so my friends and I went axe throwing today, right? So we went to this, so there's this, there's this taco place it's called Taco Mary's. And that's where everyone goes when they're drunk from like frat parties. And they always go there to get food and then come back there and like throw it up. Anyways, we oh, wanted fun. to see if it was actually like good or not. And so that's where we wanted to go to dinner. So we like stopped there, got a couple burritos. It wasn't like amazing, but it was like decent. Like it was all right. So have you gone to like party, like uh, sororities or anything like that? You're not doing that, are you? Is it crazy, Cray? <laughs> this is what I do, okay? Friday night. Remember, after we're, we're recording this. After we all finish school, we all go and play D&D. &D yeah, I know. Downstairs. And that's then cool. afterwards we go and watch... Um, so a bunch of us in the group, we all, well, a lot of the boys like to watch Formula One. So we all watch the Formula One races. <laughs> and then we do our studying. And then normally Saturdays, we like do something like outside, like we'll go mountain biking or whatever. But like for the most part, like on Friday and Saturday nights, we're like watching movies and stuff. So no time for sororities. Yeah. Is there yeah. pressure to join those kinds of things? Because I don't know. I, I went to college, but I was an adult. I had two children in a house. I mean, like, college. not really. You don't have to if you don't want to. And, like, I was told when I first came, like, oh, like, if you don't party, you're totally going to notice that you don't because none of my friends do that. So it's, like, it's there if we want to go. A couple of us have maybe, like, thought of the idea, but we're kind of like, eh. We're fine. I don't really have time anyways because I'm starting my – um my CNA uh, training so I could be a certified nursing assistant by like, no, by January. And so, and like in between on top of my classes, I'm also doing like those classes. So like, I don't have time. I'm very busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're probably, I think you're hundred percent right. No, I, I just, I don't have time. Like literally in between. D&D &D is way too important. Oh gosh. No, I know it's way, it's, it's, yeah. What, what character do you play? What do you play? <sighs> I think you're so, a, you're a cleric, aren't you? No, I'm a paladin, but really? I decided that as a there was this show we were watching on Netflix called Centaur World. Don't watch it; it's horrible. It's like okay. an acid trip of a show. Anyways, there's this one character in that show, and it's a it's a centaur, but it's a giraffe centaur, and it has abs. And so I'm a giraffe centaur with abs who's a who's a who's a paladin. <laughs> It's a great combo and it was totally our DM's fault because he gave me like full like like he did because he didn't think it was actually a real character and then we looked it up and someone had actually created it so he's like fine I guess you can be it but I like totally went like off the rails with it but I'm kind of getting sick of playing a um after half well playing a centaur because I can't like do certain things that everyone else can do so I might, I'm trying to convince him to kill off my character or just write a new character. So yeah, that's, that's what I film my Friday evening. Very good. I but think you, could, you could run really fast. Yeah. I know. I like your hat yeah. and your mask there, Lori. That looks great. In, uh, <laughs> Isabella, in my time in Chico, 
We oh, actually yeah. played in person. What do they call that? LARPing or something? Like, okay. Oh, really? We went out and we and it was sort of loosely based on Tolkien, but okay, you know, like whatever we could do, whatever yeah. we wanted. And we did it in Bidwell, mm -hmm. in the lower park. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then and but the, the place is so big and so brushy. Oh and yeah. Trees, we didn't know where half the other people were most of the time. Because no, yeah. Last week we tried to do the whole like bring pizza like order a pizza while you're playing D&D &D. well what happened was we tried ordering it from Domino's and it took Domino's four hours to bring us the pizza so we were all like bitching <laughs> and like screaming at each other because we're, we're all hungry right and so normally we only play from like three to maybe like seven well we ended up continuing to play because you're waiting for this pizza that took four <laughs> hours to get there and we were we did I think we did like painters you we did three hours of combat, which we normally don't do. And it was very, very long. And we all were hungry and tired. And it wasn't very fun. That was my Friday night last week. So that's what I'll probably be doing again tomorrow night. There, there yeah. used to be a pizza place in Chico called Canal Street, which I yeah, think that's still I, there. Is it still there? Yeah. I thought it wasn't there anymore. They no, used to make the best pizza. And we the tried, cheese we on from, it was like that thick. It was. We just, ordered from Domino's because someone in our group had a Domino's gift card. Oh. And it took four hours. And we we're like, why did we do this? We could have just. DoorDash something. Seriously. And it would have been here. So we all really Why did annoyed. you leave your room? Your team members are still there. Huh? Your team members are still in your room. Did you know? Oh, that? they're talking. They're all talking. Oh. Yeah. I wanted to talk to other people. Carl, can we just recall them? What? Can, aren't they all done? They were talking I, about I said I would get, they got about, about more. two more minutes, they said. So. <laughs> I don't think they need two more minutes. <laughs> they're, they're really like literally we answered all the questions. They, we, then that's when we started Just talking. recall them. We'll say there's something wrong with the clock. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> Until they watch the video. Because they've got 30, well, if they watch it, they still got a minute once he hits the clock. Yeah. True. So, that was way too long. We had, we, we had um, somebody on our team just kicked ass. I, I put it me, and it wasn't me. It wasn't you. Well, you weren't on my team. I was on. No, team I know. Team. So did we. We had one person that oh. just kicked ass. That's how it is, you know. One person will be like, "All right, I got this." Got Everybody, it. back off. And it's a different person each time. So I got like. this little outfit on for the scene. That fits well with the with the mystery right. theme. Oh wait, it's not mystery. It's a uh, scary, scary bye -bye. movies. Scary movies scary movies there's Isabella. No. there she is hello she, i said isabella why is the rest of your team still in the room and you're out here talking to us and she goes oh they're just chit chatting isabella <laughs> left us no she told me that you guys had already answered the questions and you're already you're just talking she just Talk. cheats out she's all like i don't care about you guys i'm out of here <laughs> tell us about pizza she Our plays D, D as a giraffe no, no 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 let me let me pull up a picture of this thing <laughs> and look at Karen has has is in Puerto Vallarta and decided to join us from her vacation. That's how dedicated she That's is. That's pretty amazing. I, I'm, um, Karen, she's only in chat. Amazing. Her audio doesn't work. Oh, her audio doesn't work. Oh. No, so she's only in chat. That, <laughs> she can hear us. <laughs> Hello, yeah, Karen. Karen. <laughs> she can hear us. Hope you're taking photos. What the heck? <laughs> What the heck's going on over in Faith Romero's? Faith's got a big <laughs> bottle of big glass of wine, and now the Faith, Faith is beauty. She's talking well, a lot. We know um, what happened. Faith, unmute yourself. What is it? Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> he keeps carrying the cat over. That's for the scary <laughs> movie. <laughs> is Romero it's doing that for the scary <laughs> movie theme? It's Attack of the Ginger Cat. What is the description of that, Carl? Can you can you describe the horror movie that's happening to Faith? Woman with glass of wine is attacked by cat paws. Cat paws <laughs> descending from outer space. <laughs> so wait, let me share my screen and then I'll show you. Our DM's a um an anim an animation major. <laughs> Killer cat. Oh, this no. is this is what my character oh, looks wow. like. That's what my character looks like. Oh my oh, god. Oh. Wow. Nice. And you float in space like that. That's pretty awesome. Those hands are something. 
I'll be right back. No, you know, and I recognize day, Joe is like, why like, did I let you choose this character? I'm like, this was all you. You could have told me no, and you didn't. This is all your just letting. I think it looks just right. like you. I see you. <laughs> it's you. Totally. <laughs> okay, no, Carl. Let me have full control. All right. Are we ready? I don't know, but I we're back. <laughs> Go ahead. We're back. Okay. So, the answer to number one is Lake Placid. Yay! Yay! Yay. Number two, uh, I will just accept Dracula as yes. the correct answer. Yay! Right. Number three. American Psycho. Thank no, you, Karen. Not. Starring Christian Bale. Four, Final Destination. Yay. Yep, we got it. Five, Rosemary's Baby. Yep. I love that with our cute haircut and she matches her father's eyes. Number six, I will accept Larry. any movie in the Phantasm franchise. Yes! I never heard of it. <laughs> the big ball that floats through the air. Yeah. What was that? What movie? Sorry. It's Steel Ball. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Oh, there's balls. Okay. Never even he saw that. Gets his balls. I get it. Oh, the ball flies through the air. Smashes That's it. really bad. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number what, seven what, what was with the ice cream man though he, because reggie the guy who fights him is an ice cream man mm. ice cream man what does that mean he made of ice cream he sells ice cream for a living yeah. out of a truck oh yeah, like I, I, ice cream truck driver ice cream man the ice cream yeah, man the ice cream okay man. not made hey, of ice cream. where have you been so number seven uh, some of you this. apparently saw this movie uh, yes. Uh, 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 oh, whoa. Good guess. That's a freaking wild guess. Number eight, Halloween. Oh. Hey, Jamie, Jamie. You didn't know that that's William oh, Shatner. the man. Captain Kirk mask. No. God. You didn't know that? So, yeah, take a good look at it. They actually did like William that Shatner mask. Captain Kirk mask from oh. the store. And that was the number nine. Many of you saw it. <laughs> oh, I knew that one. Oh, 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 oh. nine was saw. No, nine was, no. Nine was Halloween. Nine was seven it, was it. saw. Seven was saw. Eight was Halloween. Nine was it. Nine was Halloween. Oh, good. Number we 10 is actually third. extremely accurate. Look at chat. Not a bad description at all of the movie Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Never heard of it. It totally flips the narrative around that the hillbillies out in the backwoods are not the serial killers. They're the good guys. And, and the kids these, keep uh, killing themselves. Why are they well, killing? Why are they killing kids themselves? Kids think they're evil, and they keep yeah. running under their property and accidentally killing themselves. Well, right. Wait like a minute! In, in Accidentally scene, isn't committing they, suicide, then. Yeah, well, in, in one scene, they're running away from Tucker and Dale, and the one guy impales himself on a broken tree branch. Not suicide. Guy, not suicide. It wouldn't well, matter. He, he, I never he, heard he, of the movie. He's but. responsible for his own death. Not suicide. If I drive my car by accident and off the road, it's not suicide. It's a, okay, it's a bad description. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a point because I should have gotten that. that is a, I never heard of the movie, so I wouldn't have. It's a hilarious movie. You should, you should watch it. It's great. It's got, uh, it's got I even thought I got fighting. it wrong. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Okay, let's go to well, I actually feel bad because all the ones we didn't get, I actually never heard of. So. Well, that's good. We, well, we we've had got the more and we've more important things to do. Last week. Uh, okay, here we go. So the two teams that are tied here for last place: Era of Errands, ours, Error. Nine. Let me see. You got a bunch of new people. Nine. So. Mm. All right. Then uh, Thanksgiving space bats. Nine. Okay, you're in the lead. Stop the back tie. out. Stop back out. Okay, is there a Nikolai in the dome? Six. Tie. Okay. Pooping habits in space. Six. Six. The new leader. <laughs> and plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart. Nine. Oh. 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 Nice. So we have well, there goes the perfect score. 29 so far, but that, look at these scores. Look how tight that is, you guys. Well, yeah, like last place being at 25 is not bad. For no. So now, now whoever is next, which is uh, Isabella, 
right? No pressure or anything, Isabella. You've got to break these ties up. You get your powers, girl. Okay. Don't call the police on anybody, right? No, I don't have to do that. That was a okay. one time thing. You're not going to dox us? Bow out during our no. Event. We're going to be swatted. Okay. So. Wait, here comes Karen again. Wait, wait 30 seconds so she can get in. You can get her off volume work. Adrian is still here. That's um, that's great. Yes, I'm still here. Still here. Yeah. Did you survive the first round? I did. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, he split some points for us too. Okay, you Karen's here now in, in, in duo. We've got Karen Karen. Okay. Um, Karen and duo. So, okay, Isabella. Um this category is kind of in celebration for the fact that I'm finally getting my CNA certification done and I will be a registered certified nursing assistant in like 30 days. So yeah, so this is a, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a medical category that's like basic medical information, like not like, I should rephrase that, like, you know, like it's medically based. There we go. Okay. So right, question three, number one. Three, two, one, and Isabella, you'll have to unmute. Question number one is, what is the most common danger campers face while camping? Oh, what was the category again? I don't know, like medical okay, information. Medical. Um, question number two. What is the rarest disease more commonly known as the blue skin disorder, which is characterized by abnormal amount of methemoglobin between 10 and 20%? I know I've totally butchered that name. That's okay. <laughs> Number three, which disease is caused due to improper production or use of insulin? Isabella, are you just trying to get us to do your homework for you? No, I, I literally, like, literally, like this is like, like if I wanted to like give you like my homework, it would be so much harder. I'm, I'm, I'm really suffering <laughs> in physiology and anatomy. <laughs> this would be like nice if this was just my homework. Okay, number four. Which strain of coronavirus did President Trump contract at the White House event in October 2020, along with more than 30 other attendees? There we go. Number five. Advil, Motrin, and Nufrin are different brand names for which drug? Number six, which medically medical specialty is concerned with diseases of the blood? Wait, this is number six. Number seven. Wait, but you put five and six the same. Huh? Oh, shoot. That was my bad. I'm not copying it properly. Ignore that last one. Number seven, which teeth can be found between the incisors and the premolars? Number eight, humans share 98.8% of their DNA which, with which animal? Number nine, which ancient Greek physician is known as the father of medicine and, st and is still affirmed by all doctors in many countries today? And finally, number 10, extremely rare today, which disease caused by a lack of absorbic acid in the body was, wait, let me rephrase that, sorry. <laughs> Extremely rare today, which disease caused by a lack of exorbic acid in the body was and was 
very common in sailors up until the mid 18th century. Oh, look at Karen's hey. got Karen's in a whole different venue there. Ooh. Hello, Karen. Okay, and that's the end of my cat questions. Yeah. Very good. Okay, we ready Off to go? To rooms. Do you gonna do it or am I gonna do it? I just did it, I think. Okay, so Karen is in room. I have audio. <gasps> she has audio. A different device. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting you back in room two. So the two need to go thank you okay so yeah we're getting an echo so let's mute one you can hear that look at karen's hair wow i don't think i've ever seen karen with her hair down i know i'm i'm shocked so i'm going into room four i'm going to your room they're getting lost could it be burns bees oh bee stings yeah no uh, no i just said bees I think it's probably Burns. Bites? Yeah, Burns. You think? Oh, uh, um, bug bites. You... Bug bites is actually oh, well, but it's a danger. So I think Burns. Snake bites is dangerous. Hello, team. By the way. Hello. Yeah, but if you're in Canada, but I guess she's talking about the U.S. In Canada, it is not an issue. Okay, I'm, Burns is fine. What is the rare disease? Yeah. One? See that, that one. Also I... covers sunburns too that's right Blue that's what i was thinking sunburns yeah as well this is a really interesting one well so, there's a lot of babies that are born that have this blue mark on the back of their on their hiney right above their butt it's called um but blue skin that would say to me so the, the methemoglobin. Let's skip it and come back yeah, to it. Yeah. yeah. For is that not just COVID nineteen? That's what I was. I put COVID nineteen question mark because do they want the Seems specific? Seems too easy, like, but right, yeah, we're not talking it, about it what variant. We're talking about which coronavirus. Yeah, right? yeah. So it's COVID nineteen. I think is what it is. Well, it's a strain. So wouldn't that be uh, alpha? Oh, it was the alpha, wasn't it? Well, oh, but there are multiple coronaviruses. Too. Coronavirus, so like the about. common cold is a coronavirus. That's right. true, but yeah. So but COVID-19 COVID is the current one that we're all know about. Yeah. It should make this a super. And that is the, just the name of it, right? question. Yeah. Well, how about alpha COVID-19? Sure. All right, ibuprofen, um, diseases of the blood. I know this, but what is it? Phlebotomy, or is that, that's people who take blood from you. Oh, diseases of the blood. Yeah, yeah. phlebotomist takes, but which medical specialty? So it'd be like leukemia and sickle cell anemia and stuff like that, I would have guess. No idea. I mean, would it be phlebotomy and it's just phlebotomists or ones that take your blood? Because phlebotomist is not a doctor, it's just someone who takes your blood. All right. You put that in as a, as a possibility. Know. Yeah. Seven, is that the canines? That's what I was thinking too, Mike. Yeah, that sounds right. That was my guess. All right. Uh, is it the monkeys or chimpanzees or uh, chimps? Chimps, yeah. It's not just apes, is it? It's more specific. Yeah, I think it's chimps. Yeah. Uh, this is um, Hippocrates. Yeah, Hippocrates. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. H i p p o c r a t e s. Yeah. Okay. And then scurvy. Yes. So the only one we need is the blue skin. And I think something better than phlebotomy, but right, yeah. Oh, and the rare disease, yeah, the blue skin and the that's right, diseases of the blue. Yeah, what is the what are the diseases you're talking about? 
I was saying like uh, leukemia and sickle cell anemia. Those are. Uh, oh, I this. I've, been, I've been binging house. So. Is it lupus? <laughs> yeah, I, maybe it's lupus. I've never seen house. House is good. I just started watching it. Uh, this is a good guess for number two. Just cause. my kids have watched. At least Sterling has watched House yeah. over and over. I think. So I'm in season. I'm in season two now. It's like, usually yeah, lupus. What were you saying, Mike? For two, lupus is a guess. For yeah, two? I don't. So the other thing it always make you have blue skin. I don't think so. I don't, but I don't think who so. knows? <laughs> Again, barring something better. Right. So it wouldn't it be a phlebotomist, not a phlebotomy? Well, well I know that's not the right the answer. Specialty, yeah. not the not the person. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I don't the think disease of the blood. Right, phlebotomy. That's just where you take the blood. I don't think that's what the doctors are. The specialty. No, the they're called something else. That's what we're trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. We just put phlebotomy for now. Right. It's, it's interesting how the different people who run the categories join the some people stay for a while in one room then they move to the other room. some people go back and forth and back and forth a bunch mm -hmm. of times because like no one was here for like category. two seconds and then she's out yeah they're all a little different yeah I'm guessing that for something like leukemia, it would still be an oncologist. Yeah, leukemia is yeah, an that anything cancer. having to do with cancer would be an oncologist. But yeah. Diseases of the blood, I mean. I don't so know if I ever knew like, the word. Wouldn't that be like, you no. Know, this is a Greek or Latin word for blood. Yeah. Right, yep. I would agree with that. In this case, I don't even think it's, if you gave me a word, I would know. It wouldn't even sound right. I wouldn't, I don't, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard we, it. We I don't our, think I've ever heard it either. We need our Latin expert. Yeah, do you want to go and get Caspian, Susan? <laughs> he did have a, a few years of, uh, he did, three, yeah. a few semesters of Latin. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's uh, sitting next to you, right? We just asked him. I hear a cat that's in the room, but that's it. Oh, Ask um, the cat. Maybe they'll know. Ariadne? Shh, shh, shh. What's the name of a person who specializes in blood? Well, Is maybe he... it's like a hematologist. Yeah, that's... Ooh, that's a good, that's that's a good one. That's better than what we got. That's it. Thank yeah. you. Good job, Adrian. Oh, Isabella, well, you're so... killing us. <laughs> I know. And it, and, I, and I've even been watching House lately, and I still don't know. Okay, this is like, that. like literally, like some of the questions I get for school are like, like this is like, like, like this, like if these are my questions for school, like I'd be so happy. Oh, there's two easy <laughs> <people, laughs> He's like, nursing I can these is hard. Sleep. Nursing school is hard. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, well, good. It's supposed to be. Uh, don't want people. Like, here's one of my questions that I have on my reading assignment oh, no. this week. I have, we'll pull up. It's loading. Can we just weed out the weirdos who don't believe in vaccines? Yeah, for real. So uh, out of the nursing uh, candidates. Like, here's one of my questions. Arrange in order, arrange in order, arrange and order the events of local reflex coordinating intestinal molarity and and secretion you you Ooh. lost me at like the third word I yeah heard, I, I know. heard order put something in order arrange and order the events of a local reflex coordinating intestinal molarity and secretion wow. I, I i got the put in order of these events yeah it's to do wow. with basically it's asked like how does your um your your intestines like what order do they like process food and waste? And I have to put that in order. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's I milk, don't milk, know the lemonade order. around the corner fudge is made. Oh I just no. don't know the order. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm still bummed that we could have had 10 in the last round. What'd you miss? We could have 
I was I this close to getting the American Pie Dracula, one. but we, we did. We talked around Dracula. We mentioned yeah, that. We overthought that. One. Like, yeah. I, I kept thinking to myself, what does Dracula have to do with London? I don't know yeah. why I wasn't thinking that it was set in London, but whatever. <sighs> That's fine. You so, Isabella, how did yeah. you end up? How did you end up doing with your uh, whole care package contest? Did you win? Yeah. Of course. I, also got, I got the photos you sent me. Yeah. Okay. They're on my wall. Okay. <laughs> did you read any? Did you read any of those books yet? Um. Yeah, I'm reading. Oh my gosh. Let me get it. I don't even know the name of it. I'm like... Blue skin. Blue mm -hmm. skin. Skin disorder. All I can think of is what I said is that these some kids babies have it on the it's on the <laughs> tailbone, especially babies who are not of uh, white or Asian. You know, like people who have. Um, it's, it's just it's one of the books you were this one right now, and it's pretty good. Oh, that one looks cool. Yeah, I, I think it's the, it, the, the idiot's could it, guide to medicine. Could it, it? No, be it? Like, uh, like uh, sickle cell anemia? I, I don't know anything about sickle cell. It's mostly... Well, sickle cell anemia is... It's uh, in Africa. People it's, who it have is certain, an African-American or African... You have your blood cells are shaped weirdly. Yes, they yeah. are. But does it cause you your don't skin to turn spread. blue? But and it's probably more common than ten to twenty. Oh well, no, it doesn't say that. It just says it's a rare disease. I don't know. If it could be sickle cell anemia. I don't know anything about it except that what? What are some doing nationalities or some some. And it is a blood disorder. Yeah. Yeah, put that. That's better than lupus. No, right? I think I that's like better, lupus than lupus. better than lupus. It'll oh, be lupus, lupus better. Anemia. Although for which one? For number two. Wait, we want lupus or we want the other one we just mentioned? I like Sickle lupus cell. better. You like lupus? I'm not. I'm not particularly. I just don't think it's sickle cell. Although I don't really have a strong. Well, sickle cell way. is a blood disorder. Yeah. And lupus, I don't know if it is. Is it? Okay. It's an autoimmune. No, I don't. Lupus I'm just a guest here on your team, so don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure lupus is autoimmune. Because I will be on another. Wait, wait. I know, I know, I know what it is. Is it uh, cooties? It's got to be the. Cooties. There you go. Because <laughs> as many times on houses they think it's lupus, they never talk about blue skin. So. Yeah. I think oh, lupus is the blue skin. Yeah, you would think you would know what it is. Yeah. Uh, that... I have no idea. And you guys said thought it was what potentially. Well, sickle cell anemia is is a it's not an abnormal amount of something. It's a ski. It's a an abnormal weirdly shape. shaped red blood yeah. cells. Yeah. yeah, but it would but be something along that red blood line. Cells wouldn't change the color, right? No, I wouldn't think. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. So I don't think that's right. Um, it's another blood disorder. Okay, so. Can't wait to Google that once we're locked in on our answers mm. so I can figure out what it actually is. I've never heard Maybe of it. I don't skin. know. I mean, I've certainly heard of yellow skin. That's John well, And but... then there's the silver, right? Silver skin. Or, yeah, yeah. Or is it blue skin? What's the thing where oh. if you drink colloidal silver, you get... But that's not a disease. That's because yeah. people are drinking too much. There was a guy who was on a talk show or something that his skin was like blue because he was drinking too much of the colloidal silver. Because it was supposed to like heal all of his, you know, ailments right. and crap. But that's not a disease. That's a no, right. Or, or I would a think disorder. that's just because you're you're drinking too much crap. <laughs> but maybe I don't know. It's not that one, is it? If so, I don't know what it's called. We call it lack of critical thinking. Yeah. Okay, I think we're exactly. ready to come back. Okay. Got to go out of the room though if you're going to call him back. Okay, Susan. I see you're banishing me. You don't like me. Oh, uh, no. It is. Uh, stay, Isabel. Uh, you're going to no, make me if cry. You call, if you call back from your room, then there's no. There's well, no but if, if this is her room normally, won't I you see how it is, Susan. I'll right just room? leave. No, she has to see she, if she's in the or room right now. That's the thing that messes up the breakout room countdown. What do you mean? Thing. Oh, I have to fully leave? Okay. Well, it's too late now. Too late. You already did it. <laughs> that wasn't a minute. <laughs>
They're going no, to acknowledge it. Definitely that. not no. a minute. No. Um, so, so who did? So who did? So just lo learning how that worked. Just pick one, one of those two. As a general PSA for whoever is running the category, you have to leave your breakout room and then call everybody back. Because if you call them back while you're in the breakout room, it does this. It and glitches calls. and does this. That's right. She she left and called everyone back. As far as I know, because that was a fast fifty nine seconds. Yeah. Who who called everyone back? Hey, Isabella. Isabella, she left our, so Isabella, where so were you when you pushed the button to do that? Do you remember? Um, camping. Were you I in a breakout? In, I was in like dorm. just exiting my breakout, yeah. like my room, which is my fault. Uh, uh, yeah, that might be. So might be the reason. But yeah. 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 We're good. Hey, we're we'll be all right. So everybody got their answers, or do we need to go back? We're good. We're good, I guess. We're good. Good as we're gonna get. Put it that way. Ooh. What? Nothing. Are you looking stuff up over there? I was just looking at stuff on Wikipedia. That's okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Karen, good job. Time flies when you're having trivia. I'm getting to the answers. Okay, go ahead, Isabella. Okay. Okay. So. What is the most common danger campers face while camping? It is, in fact, insect bites. Oh, oh. Yeah. bee sting count? Yeah. Bee stings, mosquito Mosquitoes. bites. Mosquitoes. Okay. Uh, my oh. roommate's boyfriend was mountain biking slash camping last week, and somebody in his party ended up getting some weird infection bite bite from a mosquito bite i don't know it's really gross but oh, so it's not alien abduction then i i was like really excited oh, alien when abduction I, like, would have been perfect no i got really excited when i found i was like oh can i see it and it was really gross <laughs> um okay this one i know is confusing a lot of people i didn't write the question my physiology teacher wrote the question but basically it all it all has so what is the rare disease more commonly known as the blue skin disorder, which is characterized by abnormal amounts of methemoglobin between 10 and 20%. So the history of this was, does anyone remember, does anyone remember like that? There was, I think, I don't know where it was. I think it was either in like Virginia or Alabama, where there was that family that kept like inbreeding with each other and their skin turned blue. So this oh, is kind know. of where that's based oh. off of. So it's to do basically with the red blood cells, they're basically just not being enough like protein. And so it turns the skin blue. So the answer I was looking for is, I don't know how to say this. This is very hard. Um, oh wait, yeah, this is the right answer. Um, but hemoglobinemia. hemoglobinemia. Never heard That's of it. the right answer. Um, the words are very similar and it's very confusing when you're trying Thanks to learn. You <laughs> It's like it's not easy. Um, but yeah. Did anybody then, get that? Nope. We nope. almost did if we listened to Romero. <laughs> oh Romero. Uh, yeah, no, it's Romero. all it's like I, I literally because this was on one of my test questions this week, like 90% of the class got the question wrong. Oh. Because they don't feel bad. Phrasing. At the end yeah. of it, they just added the suffix for anemia. Yeah, literally, mm -hmm. that's what it is. Uh, okay, probably the final that just asks you how to spell it. Yeah. Right. Uh, number three, which disease has caused you to improper production of insulin, type 1 diabetes? Um, which strain of coronavirus did President Trump contract at the White House? It was COVID-19. That's it. It was a tricky it was question. Wait, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. SARS COVID 2. COVID 19 is the disease. A common yeah. cold is a coronavirus. SARS and MERS is also a coronavirus. We said alpha. I got, there I get that straight with you, Isabella. <laughs> COVID okay. is not the virus. Yes, that's right. an important one. COVID's the disease. I see. Okay. SARS COVID 2 is the virus. SARS okay. COVID 2. That's She's the right. Got answer. It. She's a college student. <laughs> let her move on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe um, she's taking into account that we're not all medical professionals. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Rufrin, Advil, Motrin, and Neurofrin are different brand names for ibuprofen. Yeah. Which, a which a pharmacist friend of mine calls vitamin I. 
Uh, yep. <laughs> so, so I need to go back to four. So we were yeah. thinking strain because like we're in Delta now and there's another one. So we were mm -hmm, guessing yeah. between alpha and beta. So why was the question about a strain then? Yeah. I'm not clear on this. She wrote it wrong. Move yeah, on. I wrote it wrong. No, 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 no. But still the answer, <laughs> the, I don't understand the answer. He's um, an engineer, Isabella. I, I know all my friends are engineers. Um, it's okay. okay. Um, the answer but is you know, COVID-19. But you knew, that it, you knew that it was a virus that causes COVID-19. Yeah. Yes. So you got it right. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, you just have a, like, that's it. That literally, that was just me not using the okay. correct terminology. There you go. Okay. Number six, um, which medically, uh, which medical specialty is concerned with diseases of the blood? Um, hematology. I'm probably butchering that spell, that name. Hey, Wilma. Hematology. Hematology? Yep. Yes. Yes. Which teeth can be found between the incisors and the premolars? Canines. Canines. Yes. Oh. oh. Where are the feline teeth? I'm always confused. <laughs> Felines have canines. They're right over here. <sighs> so unfair. Yeah. <laughs> um, number eight, human share eight, nine point, sorry. 98.8% of DNA, which which animal, um, you can either have like primates or like chimpanzees, either or will work. Sure, whichever one. Whichever one not, all, it's not all primates. Yeah. No. And I would have to ask if that was coding DNA or including all the junk DNA, but I won't ask. So it's okay. Oh my you. goodness. Move, Rob. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Robert Palmer. <laughs> Okay, which ancient Greek physician was known as the father of medicine and is still affirmed by all doctors in many countries today? Hippocrates. Yeah. Yay. Good old Hippocrates. Uh, Hippocrates. All the right. Hippocrates. Hippocrates. And number 10 is um, scurvy. Woohoo. Woohoo. There you go. Yay, for scurvy. Yay team. Yay, Medical for scurvy. Thing, Isabella. <laughs> Yay for scurvy! Yay! Yeah, yay for scurvy, Susan. Yay for scurvy and that bizarre blue blood disease thing. Good job, Isabella. There's there's a there's another way to get blue blue skin though. I think it's uh, it's got something to do with silver. Yeah, you drink colloidal, yeah, colloidal, colloidal, colloidal silver. Colloidal silver. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were thinking about that. That's a whole oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's less blue and more you're silvery. You go for a walk. Yeah. Is anybody selling that as a cure for COVID? But they still call oh, it yes. pop You'd be surprised. Uh, somebody we have someone come in probably. for a vaccine clinic the oh answer is yes mm. well the <laughs> guy who was on the talk <laughs> show sure did look like uh, papa smurf that's for sure well uh. you're forgetting my my uh my bio my and physiology lab teacher was recommending you drink tonic water with zinc put into it as a cure for covid so did, how have they still not done anything about this to person too <laughs> what rob i don't know if she was asking who she was asking I just no, said, I, I, don't, was... I, I don't know how this person is still working there. No, neither do I. <laughs> I'm very concerned. I don't like her. Maybe they'll just let her go at the end of the semester. And it's too much work, to, too much trouble. To I mean, she's only Yeah, but she's like, going to screw up so many kids along the way. She's only like 58. Like, she's not even that old. Oh, thank you. I appreciate thank that. You. Thank, you. thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> that was nice. Thank you. No, no, Isabella like, just got two more points for her team. <laughs> like she could keep like, like, like you know, it's not that old, but like she's a little. So I don't know. Not like she's sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> I just that's her one down. way off. Clearly not. She wouldn't be coherent anymore, Rob. Yeah, at sixty four, <laughs> that's over the hill and down the balance. Yeah, Explain so much, that's Rob. Point. I can I can barely remember sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles wrote about it. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. When I have I'm the shirt. 54. I have the shirt. Will you still feed me? Please okay, you guys, let's see these points. Now, the, the, the good news is there's good news and bad news. The bad news is Robin isn't going to be here to do our bonus. <gasps> the good news is... I have a bonus category if you want one, because I just thought of a great one. Well, I, I got a bonus one. one if you want. It's like I have one. one. Susan, okay. why are you killing the mood? I'm going to... I got one if The you good news is, is that I have one. Actually, Top I have more, and I want to use three D performances. I'm going to lead the last round. So, okay. what's going to happen is I want to see how bad the scores are. This, if the scores are tight again, I'm coming up with something really difficult. 
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ten answers using mono score. Oh, my God. If if you guys don't have a nice spread. Mono's rules. Mono's rules. So I don't know how often I'll be here for a bonus round now that school has started. So if you do want one, I'm happy to do it. Well, I've got one. We'll see how how bad they do. Cheer up and sniff a little bit when you say that. Okay, Thanksgiving space bats. Eight. Okay. Era of Aaron's R's error. Nine. Oh. Is there a Nikolai in the dome? Eight. Wait, I thought we had nine. That's not from my team. We got the first two wrong. Okay, pooping habits in space. Eight. A, li- oh, right. a lot okay. like we're going to be nice. using the hardest category. Plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart. H. Okay. So you guys really have come up with a lot of easy categories today. So we're going to have to do something to really mess you up. No. Um, let me just double check to make sure I've got the hardest. What if we're just good? Yeah, well, then you'll do so well at this next category. We're I meant everyone, not that they were everybody. easy. Uh-huh. We're going to use the other pictures, finally? No, no, oh. we're not going to do that. Come on! <laughs> you were the only one that did any good. I, I think it'd be a little mean with this many new people. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will do the one that isn't the hardest, but the next artist. Got it. Okay, here's for the here's for all the Koholis. All the M&Ms in the bag. So what you guys are going to do for your bonus round is you're going to go to your rooms and you're going to hopefully you know your geography. And I want you to come up with the largest islands in the world by area. And it does not include Antarctica or Australia. Didn't we do this category already? Well, then you'll do extra better. No, I I think think we had the population. I had population ones. So it does not include the island, the, the Antarctica, or the big Australian continent there. Well, um, is this not either. order? This is not order of size. Is it? It's just the top ten. Ten, ten largest by area. Mm, okay. Okay, I will go and see how y'all are doing. <laughs> Have fun. But not mono's rules. No, not mono's rules. That would be. I don't think I could do that unless I did the top twenty or something. Well, in that case, Japan and and uh, I, don't, I don't know about Japan. I put Great yeah. Britain and Borneo. Oh, Borneo! Yes, have to have Borneo. Baffin Island. Baffin. Yeah, Baffin's. I think pretty big, though. Yeah. It might be it. Baffin in the in the Arctic. Yeah. Yep, that sounds right. Um, uh, what's see, it's mad against? What's what's next door to um, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, let's go for walkie. What's next door in that to Africa? Is that that Af- is that Madagascar? Madagascar, Madagascar yeah. in yeah, south east off the southeast coast. Um, um, Cuba, mm. yeah. Ooh, oh, uh. I don't think it's top 10, but maybe. Hispaniola. Thinking of, I don't know what the island that Haiti and Dominican Republic are on. Oh, that is called Hispaniola. Hispaniola. 
Um, you know, I, I do not know any of the specific islands in Japan, the Philippines, or Indonesia besides um, Java. <clears throat> what about Sicily? The main, okay, the main island of Japan is Honshu. How about that? Yeah. Uh, what about Guinea. Sicily? Is that considered an island? Yeah, but I think it's relatively not very big. Small. Yeah, no. it's not actually that big. Okay. New Guinea. Um, how about New Zealand? I mean, yeah, I, I do think but Java. Have... Java was a good one. New Zealand's huge, isn't it? New, yeah, yeah, New Zealand. But they have different islands. Two islands. Yeah, what is the... I would just call it the North and the South Island. And I think the South Island is bigger. Yeah. Uh, so why very big? No. Uh, the, I don't think so. They're not really... How many do we have there? I mean, we. It takes like a day to get around it. Yeah. But I don't, you know, I've never been to New Zealand, but I'm sure it takes longer to drive around New Zealand than that. Mm. Yeah. New Zealand. Well, New Zealand is actually two islands. Oh, right. Oh, that's a problem then. I believe. Are we yeah, there's yeah, one no, they, it, really, it is. It is two islands, at least. All right. Which ones are we sure of? Fairly sure of? Well, for, huh? Great Britain, I would say for sure. All right. I like Madagascar. Um, is it Greenland? Yeah. Why does that look wrong? Oh, because I have Greenland. Because you, it's yeah, too yeah. easy. Oh, there we go. Greenland and Iceland are probably good. Yeah. And I think Japan would be good. Yeah, but again, we have that. Which island is it? Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Well, Japan main island. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the name of it. They're all separate names. I don't think Prince Edward Island is going to make the cut, but that's just me. I don't, how big is Sicily? Ooh, where'd it go? He moved it. Oh, there. Okay. I'm, move, I'm moving the ones that we don't have checked yet down the bottom. That's all. All right. So, oops. All right. So, so far, we think we got, and is New Zealand in there? We didn't say. Don't know. Mm. All right. So, then we have five we're fairly sure about. And I'm not even sure we're sure about Japan. Yeah. Um, what about other Chinese islands? I mean, there's a lot of islands around China. Um, maybe South Asia. Elsmere. Elsmere. We lost a, um What happened to uh, Isabella? She's just sitting on the main screen with her with the video off. And mm. muted. So Ellesmere Island is the other one. So um, I, we could probably take off. Is Japan? It's a series of islands, right? Yeah, it's more of the biggest island is Honshu. Honshu is the biggest island of Japan. And you're not doing like uh, individual um, islands, right, Susan? It's islands. Yeah, it, has, it can't be the whole of Japan. It can't be the whole of Japan because that would be multiple islands, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about there's some big islands in Indonesia? Yeah, do you know what they're called? Um, the main island is called. Sumatra. Sumatra. Or. That's from Indonesia. Yeah, that's a very big island. How do you spell it? Sumatra. That's right, I think. Uh, oh, Sumatra. Tra. Yeah, so S U M. Yes. S U M. S U M at the beginning, yeah. Java. Java? 
Indonesia? You think they're bigger than any of these guys? Which ones would we take off? We need to figure out which one we're getting rid of here. And then, uh, is that Cuba? Yeah, Cuba's big. And texted me back and said, and said that uh, I was lucky because holiday it was light traffic. You so well, you're, I you're got really off spoiled. easy. Your curtain, Susan. What happened to your calamity sea monster? Your sea monster's gone. Are you muted? We can't hear you. You're muted. Oh yeah, some something came over a little script came over the top of where my mute is on here and I couldn't figure out how to get it off. It's <laughs> underneath. I have three shower curtains. I'm waiting for it to crash down and you guys will be able to see all the all the stuff back there. It's really ugly. You're all done? Mm -hmm. I think That's so. Do. Yeah. I think everybody's been close. I better go and call people back because they're at the moment of trying to they've got like nine, they've got like 11. They're like, which one should I take off? Okay. Okay, I'm recalling everybody. Let's get this put on our list. Hmm. And I didn't write them down, so I won't be able to score it. We're ending early. Yeah. Push you guys around. I have to push you around. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> Did you put Newfoundland down? Yeah, I think they had Newfoundland down. Yeah. What? 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 He thinks I'm a monster because I eat cold pizza. Oh, that's that is monster. horrible. Never. Vancouver Island. Never cold pizza. See? That's, it's it's see? not probably my preferred, but I've had cold, 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 cold no. pizza. Oh, is the worst like cold pizza is the pizza. Oh, horrible. I like but pizza. It's still fantastic. Port. Horrible. Fantastic. See? See, I can't, eat, I can't, even, I can't even eat lukewarm pizza. Mm -hmm. I need pizza that burns the roof of my mouth before it's not. <laughs> Dude, I, cold, cold pizza is good. I uh, went on a camping trip once and just bought a pizza the night before and then stuck it in the cooler. And See, this is the thing. This is I've never dormed and I've never been on a camping trip. So therefore, I never had to try. It's not it. too late, Rob. We'll take yeah, you camping to, to a dorm. You've yeah. never been camping? No. Wow. What? That's scary. Yeah, that's disturbing. There was, there was no I grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah, disturbing. I grew up in Brooklyn. The, those oh, of us who live in the, the next North, even the Northwest, North, North, yeah. all the kids from the city used to come, we used to come camping with us, we'd scare the crap out of them. Rob, why didn't you just get a little pup tent and, par and, and camp in your back? My parents <laughs> brought me a pup tent when I got good grades because that's what I said I wanted if I got so and so grades when I was about 13, and it went in my backyard, and that's where I slept at night. Well, that's camping. So you can be back out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say whether or not you've been camping depends largely on your definition of camping because yeah. right. some people right think driving them. an RV into a campground. Yeah, right. right. RV is camping. Glamping. That's glamping. glamping yeah. Right. I yeah. went to the Iwani Hotel in Yosemite. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. There That's are people cool. who think staying in a cabin in the woods is camping. Yep. I built oh. a snow shelter out of snow and slept in it. And oh, there are other safe. people who say, that's if camping. you didn't have to use a shovel to go to the bathroom, you weren't camping. No, so, yeah. mm -hmm. no. I was able to go in my parents' house and use the bathroom. So there you go. I've never had okay. to go Okay, I wasn't camping. Back. I'm coming back. And Thon says, so next week, I have Mono, I have Kyle, I need three more. Who has not done one today? I haven't done one and I have a category. Oh, Peggy. And next Robin week, hasn't done one today. Timely. See if she's available for next week. Who else? She probably has one ready. Well, if you don't have anyone else, because I will not be playing on Thanksgiving. I've been doing like every other week and I can't do that week, which is the following week. Okay, keep you in mind if somebody doesn't okay. volunteer quickly. I got a bonus round if you want one. 
You also I you volunteer also, Adrian. <laughs> Adrian always has her head look right up at that. What? Did I see Bob's Robin. hand go up? I think Robin, I saw Bob Robin, do it. Robin, Robin, Robin. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Oh, Peggy asked Robin if she'll be able to make it next week. Who else? I would like more horror movie bad descriptions. Yeah, those are part fun. three. Pete. Well, any future future iterations probably won't be scary movies. There'll be other okay. types of movies. Rom coms. Rom coms. That would be hysterical. Who hasn't done their they home state the yet? Somebody sure, I can do one state. with Greg. I could do it with Greg next week. A category was it category. or a category? Category. Yeah. Greg already has one ready. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Somebody tell Robin she's doing bonus next week. Peggy, can you tell her please? I will. I don't want to tell her tonight because she's off with her husband the night before his surgery, and I think they should be. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. We don't want her thinking of category. Yeah. <laughs> She's got to keep her mind on the task at hand. Okay, fantastic. If not, well, she could use the distraction. Yeah. The well, doctors I'm need to keep her mind, on the, the mind on that. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Oh, my unconventional conventionalists. Here we are. We have. I'm using Wikipedia, and since things don't change, because I don't think these islands grew much bigger, and we've had some, we've got some volcanic activity, I don't think anything's gotten that much bigger. So the 10 most, you guys did really well, I'm really surprised, I should have gone harder with these questions. So the 10 most, uh, 10 largest islands by area, mm. number one is Greenland, I think everybody knew that, uh, number two is New Guinea. Oh. oh, and you don't have to have these in order, so just cross them off if you. I mean, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Number three is Borneo. Oh, B O R N E O. Number four is Madagascar. Yeah, I didn't realize it's that big. This oh. one, I I've never heard of before, but I think our Canadians got got it mostly. Baffin Island, B A F F I N yeah, Island. Yay! I saw, oh, that on, nice. I saw that on several lists. Good job, Adrian. Yay, oh, yeah. good job. <laughs> Another one I heard come in from somebody's spouse, I believe, was Sumatra. I think that's Adrian's house again. Yay, oh, again. Sumatra in Indonesia. We need him to play more regularly. He doesn't like that we bicker. <laughs> hey, we hey, we had Indonesia. So does that count? Nope. You need okay. the island. No, we didn't have Indonesia. Anyway. Yeah, and same Indonesia, with the next Indonesia. one. The next one is another oh, yeah. one I think I heard from okay. that same uh, from Adrian's household. And a couple other places too. Hanoshi from Japan. Honshu. Is that the main Honshu. island? Honshu. We're yeah. not counting it's main Honshu. island. You gotta come up with the name of the island. Oh H-O-N-S-H Honshu with a little yeah. line over the top of the Yeah, yeah. Honshu. Yeah. Honshu. And then number eight, another yeah. Canadian yeah. island. Victoria. Yes. <laughs> James no. got it. <laughs> There's no. I forgot oh, no, no. that one. No, no, that's no, not correct. correct. Oh, that's a big one. That's yeah. not correct. Vancouver. It's Vancouver. Vancouver Island. 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 No, no, no. There is no, no Victoria no. Island. No, no yeah. it's not yeah. Vancouver it's Island. It's up in the north. It's yeah, it's up right. in the north. Yeah. It's up. Oh in the north. no. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's up in the It's up there with Baffin Island. is never wrong. Oh, okay. Ah. That is true. You get extra points if you can mess me up on Wikipedia, which is great, but not in this case. You always get extra points. Number nine, most of you guys got this, Great Britain. Last one, I didn't see anybody get. It's also in Canada. E-L-L-E-S-M-E-R-E. -E -E. I like Ellesmer. that. You're kidding. Ellesmer. Oh, read, Ellesmer. read the next. Greg said I Susan. named that. Susan, so we can groan a bit. Read us the next. No, I sure five. will. Okay, so you guys got the top ten, right? Does anybody need me to read those over uh, again? Can we can we paste them somewhere? I'm, I'll put a the link. Wikipedia link. I'll put the yeah. link. So, but no. just for groaning's sake, because I know that uh, Karen, you know, she's on vacation. We should let her have some groaning. Uh, the number eleven is from Indonesia. It's Sula Wesi, S U L A W E S I. Then the next one is the South Island in New Zealand. Oh. After that, it's Java. Oh. After that is number 14 is North Island in New Zealand. Ooh. 15 is Luzon in the Philippines. Mm. 
16 is Newfoundland. 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 Oh, God. Forgot that one. Newfoundland. Another Canada. Oh. See, they asked me for Canadian things. Canadian and, content. Uh, <laughs> number 17, the main island of Cuba. Oh, number no. seven. Totally forgot that. That's way though. small. And yeah. the last one, I think most of you had on your list, it's number 18, Iceland. Yeah. Oh. What about Nova Scotia? Is that an island? <clears throat> no. Nova Scotia? Island. That's what no, happened. it's not I, an island. Yeah, it's I said not it was an big, island. But it's part of the mainland. It's a peninsula. It's a peninsula. So Tasmania it's didn't Tasmania didn't make it? Prince Edward Island is an island. Tasmania didn't Prince make Edward it. Island is, a, is an island, yeah. That's why it's, it's called <laughs> island. I guess Tasmania is way Yeah, but Rhode Island is an island too. <laughs> Tasmania didn't even make it till uh, oh. number 26. Hmm. Wow. Rhode Island is called Rhode Did Island. Anybody put yeah. Ireland? Because <laughs> that's number twenty. Yeah. Is uh, is yeah, uh, yeah, with twenty two? Is Center Island on the uh, list? No. <laughs> is that a place? That's, that's, that's from Wilma. I'm sorry. <laughs> is that where Wilma is from? Oh, there's no. a place. There's an island called Zealand. Toronto. It's Denmark. It's owned by Denmark. Zealand, like New Zealand, but not oh, Zealand. Zealand. Yeah, that's the old Zealand. The, the old, old, Zealand. old Zealand. Old Zealand. Classic. Is uh, <laughs> is uh, Sicily anywhere on that? Let me see. Yeah, I heard forty fifth, forty five. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, number forty five. Oh, so close. <laughs> very interesting. Right above Somerset. So that was very diverse. So we have some diversity here. All right, now let's see if we, we got you guys to rattle up enough. Because What about Nantucket? <laughs> there once was a woman from Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> Who wore a big fat bucket. You know, Cape Cod is technically an island. Yeah. Uh -huh. Only because of the canal. Yes, well, but that what they're... Okay, so this is really island. close, mm. you guys. So let's see, we got, we've got a 33, a 33, a 34, a 34, 37. How do you want me to do this in the order? Bottom, the, top, bottom to the top. Bottom so to the top. Four first, yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so let's start with Thanksgiving space bats. Six. Six, yeah. Whoa, that was, nice. That was Ben, Isabella, James, Mike, and Adrian. Okay, six. So you're at 39. You are in the lead. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, what Four happened minutes. to James? He started on our team and then he ended up on a different team. Did he? Yeah. He defected yeah. somehow. I think James it, was he on kept dropping out, like you put him back in the wrong two. room. He got him in the wrong room. Okay. Bob, <laughs> Peggy, Rob, Upgrade. Wilma. Is there a Nikolai in the dome? Three. Ooh. You are not in the lead. I was shocked after we only had three people. You <sighs> had more? About a point. Four people. Okay, mm. Avi, Jeff, Kevin, Kelly, Vincent, Larry, and Karen with 34. What do you got? Five. You were tied for the We're tied. Tiebreaker time. Okay, <laughs> Brian, Kirby, Faith Romero, Janine, Leonard, and Lori, who's not here, and neither is Brian. Pooping Habits in Space. 10. What? Wow. Oh, you I demand a recount. How? Ten. Because yeah, Leonard pulled Ellesmere out at the very end. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Leonard pulled Ellsworth out of his butt, huh? At the last second. Good job, Leonard. Big island. It must have hurt. It must have hurt because I'm sure it's big. It's a big island. <laughs> okay. So here's what we got. We need to have how many does this team need to have to win? Eight. To eight. Eight. Eight, eight. Eight to win, seven to tie. You're going to get four. Alan, Brandy, Deborah, Carl, Caspian, and Jamie. Plaintiff is Nine. not president and quarterback is oh, oh, nice nice win. For the win. Nice oh, win. Nice. Wow. Nice. Wow. How did you guys do that? Wow. One in a row. Wow. A lot That's of Caspian. Great. Caspian knows his islands. I don't know if Caspian's. I named Ellesmere, but I don't remember if it was on the final list. It was. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he gets excited with Ellesmere. I've never heard of Ellesmere. It, did, was that Canada? Yeah, it's in the Arctic. Oh, never heard of it. All right. And so the winner tonight and the champions Hooray. is 
Plaintiff is not president and quarterback is not smart. Let that be a lesson for you. Which is a fantastic (laughs) name. uh, They should have won just for the name. name. That was the best name. And that's how we play social trivia by Susan. And I hope you guys all come back again next week. (coughs) Alan came up with the quarterback part. Oh, that's funny. All right. right, This is a White House in Nantucket. (laughs) <laughs> so i'm going to post um, how's your vacation karen after i hang this up i'm going to post the video on youtube if you want to see that you can see the video and you can watch what's going on in the other rooms and so on because i went between your rooms it's kind of fun there's a whole bunch of other videos and i will post this on facebook if you want to join again the link will be in my facebook post or you just get the link from somebody else what else do i need to tell anybody we didn't have any podcasters here today. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, we didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't do our um, uh, things. All right. So, Richard Thunders could always send you a Adriana. Next week. Wait, we it's next still week. today. How come we're finished? Yeah, we're uh, finished. We can miss it for a bit. Holy cow. It's, it's not, not even today tomorrow. Where I am. It's not actually here. tomorrow not over here. here. Today. It's officially Friday over here on the East Coast. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm going to <laughs> say adieu. Do. Talk. I'll talk to you guys later. Good night, Susan. Thank you. Susan. Thanks for joining Susan. us. Susan. 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 Well, Susan. Stay on to talk about Havana. Get in touch with him. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Get in touch with him. I think he'd get excited. No, no.